Hello? Hello? Hello, hello? How are we doing today? I, uh, so I am 11 minutes late to the stream today. <laughs> uh, which isn't a big deal at all. <laughs> I, I say it like it's like the worst thing ever. Um, I normally go live 6 p.m. Eastern on the dot every stream. Unless we're doing it early, like with Ganya. Um... Today, I was 12 minutes late. Why? Uh, so, technical difficulties arose because I was installing the game and I was downloading it and it was not installing. I was like, what the fuck? It wasn't saying like disk space full. Um, and so I opened my Explorer and I'm like, maybe, you know, maybe I somehow filled the shit out of my computer and my Explorer's not loading. And I'm like, uh-oh. Uh, so I go to my recycling bin and I try to delete shit out of my recycling bin and it's not moving. And I'm like, uh-oh. And so I open up Wizardry and I scan my computer and it's fucking packed full of shit. And I'm like, how? Um, now I, I have a, I have an SSD, so I have three drives on my computer. I have my main SSD, which it's, it's 110 gigabytes and it has my computer installed on it. Um, which is not good. I, you should not, you should install your computer on at least 250. Um, but... You know, it served me well for two years. Um, he, dude, Healing Line, thank you for the three-month prime. Um, so I'm like, okay, shit, this is an issue. And I run Wizardry and I try to see what the fuck is taking up so much space. And Steam is taking up a shit ton of space. And so is Minecraft. So I go to Steam and it turns out um, I have a shit ton of games downloaded to my drive for my computer install. Instead of to my, you know, thousand gigabyte, my whole terabyte uh, SSD that I use exclusively for storage and like games and shit. So getting over it was taking up like three gigabytes. Steam VR was taking up 10. I had 16 gigabytes worth of Minecraft saves. Um, and the problem is I couldn't delete anything because my Explorer was not running anymore. So I restarted my computer and I waited and it took forever to turn on and I was like, this is it. It's over. The computer's done. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to, like, install... I was, I was going to have to get, like, a new SSD and install my, uh, like, Windows 10 to a new drive. And it finally opened up after, like, five minutes. Uh, and then my recycling bin was empty, and I was like, great. There's, you know, a ton of temporary storage gone. Um, or temporary files, whatever. Um, and I was able to move all my Minecraft shit to my, my drive and I was able to uninstall a bunch of shit and I just uninstalled to the theme VR. I haven't played VR in like months. And we're good. Um and I'm I'm my 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 storage is back to normal. I'm back to like over 400 gigabytes free on my my storage drive and 20 free on my main drive which is a an issue. Um I do really need to once I'm like moved and not streaming for a bit, I'm gonna be working on like some off stream shit. And number one thing I need to do is get like a 500 gigabyte SSD, install Windows 10 to it. And that be my new OS. I guess Windows 11. I don't fucking know. Is Windows 11 even good? Uh, but that's why I was late today. <laughs> I really thought it might've been done. I, re I really thought I might've had to just like get a new fucking computer. 10 is better? No, it's not. No, 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 no. Gibson, yeah, so don't you use 11 too? It's just reskin 10. Dude, they're they're trying to do the iPhone shit. Dude, we got Windows. We got a win Windows 11 S Plus. I do, and it's so fucked. Like, what? Windows 10 is so good. I think Windows 10 is the best OS since 7. It's clean. I actually like the start menu in 10. I did not like the start menu in 8. No one did. Because it, it was for an iPhone. It was an iPad. For iPad babies. I actually really do like the start menu in 10. I think it's very user friendly. I think the UI is great. I don't really care for, you know, the stuff by default that's on the sidebar. Just fucking delete it. 
You don't need to have the news there. Delete it. Make it your own. It's very customizable. What the hell? <laughs> Go to I feel like Nation's good right now. Though I am, I'm just like talking about... I don't think anyone in the chat cares about my opinions on Windows 10. Windows 8 was designed for tablets. Windows 8 was designed by Windows because they were like, Oh, people love iPhone. People spend all their time on iPhones. We need to cash in on this. Let's make the most dog shit OS ever. It doesn't even run good. It runs so bad. It's so slow. I had to use Windows 8 for like five years. I would use Windows 8 and I, I was using like a non paid for Windows version. So every, every like it's what, every two hours, three hours, please activate Windows. And it blocks your screen for 12 seconds. So I'd be in the middle of a league game or like an Overwatch game because this was 2016. Um... And in the middle of it, like, I'd be like, okay, I, I'm, okay, I got my run, hurdle, let's go. Ah, and then activate windows, please. <laughs> I can't, I'd have to wait for 12 seconds. And by the time I'm back, I'm dead. And then my team is pissed at me. Because it's a comp game. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm very thankful to have actually bought Windows 10. It, it came with my computer. They give Windows 10 away for free. If you don't have Windows 10, you could get it for free anyway. Just literally like call Microsoft, be like, hey, can I have a Windows 10 key? Like, yeah, why not? Have two. Once you deal with the shitty version of something, it feels so relieving to go back to something better. It's like training my bitch. It's, you're so right. That's how I'm gonna feel when I get a new desk and a new chair. I was gonna get, we actually bought a new desk um, and I was gonna get a new chair and I was gonna like really like make my office so nice. And now we're moving. <laughs> we might sell the desk. It's a really nice IKEA desk too. Um, I'm not too concerned about it. I'm not too like sad. Um, I can just get a new desk. But once I'm in my new place, I am. I need to get a new chair. I need to get a new desk. I'm still using the 10 ED lessons I got from college like nine years ago. Holy fuck. Yeah, the stuff you spend a lot of time on, if you have the money to make it like even a little bit better, do it. If you're on the computer all the time because you're an artist, get a new chair. Um, I don't have any other, if you bike, get a new bike. If you bike to work, get a good bike. If you can afford it. Um, it is always worth it in the long run to buy the, you know, the expensive stuff. Like, buy an expensive bed. Buy a nice bed. Um, if you can afford it, of course. Um, because I grew up very, very, uh, poor. I didn't have any fucking money. Uh, I slept, I'm not joking, on, like, a moldy-ass, nasty, disgusting bed. Um, it was horrible. Um, and buying a bed for the first time in my life and just, like, getting, like, a slightly nicer one. It was, it's not that nice. It's a Walmart bed. It's really not that nice, but to me, it was nice. To me, I spent 300 bucks on it. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. Um, and so, yeah. I got a fucking dresser from Ikea, like last year, year before that, something like that. I got a bookshelf. I did a bookshelf stream. Um, and it's nice to be able to just like upgrade shit. You know, the, sh the stuff that you use. Cheaper than physical. That's true. That's true. If you can afford it, of course. It, it is always worth it. Ugh. Well. Yeah. Do I have anything else I want to talk about in the pre-stream? No new owl. I mean, new owl house comes out on Saturday. So, and we already kind of talked about the last episode, which was insanely fucking good. And I don't want to spoil anything. Um... It's really good. The King, it was, it was the, the King episode. Unless the one, a new one aired and I didn't see it. Um, you're almost done with season one, dude. Season two is where the show gets good. And it, partially it is because I think by season two, they realized they were not getting a full season three or four. So they were like, okay, we got to make season two really fucking good. Um, and it picks up the pace like crazy. Like season one is like, Here's an episode where they go to the carnival. <laughs> and season two is like, here's an episode where this character relives their childhood trauma. 
And it's like that, back to back to back. Every fucking episode of season two. I don't think there's any filler. Oh, I know, I know rocks. I, 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 I do a little bit of chatter before we do the, the full housekeeping. I'm just wondering if there's anything else I want to talk about. Just watch the carnival one. That was, a, that was a good episode. I mean, I say it's filler, but it, it kind of did. Um, it set the the stage for for King and Lose's like friendship. What show? The Owl House. Like that was the first episode where you, I feel like you kind of see a side of King where it's like, oh, he's not just like Alex Hirsch doing a funny voice. It's like actually like this is a character. Not that I didn't love King before, but like that gave him like so much depth. Yeah, and the film is not long either, and it's it's well written. I mostly just mean season one is like it, it's it's very well paced, and I do wish I, I do wish that we got like two more seasons, you know, and then we got more filler episodes, then we got more time for development. But even with the time they have, like they are taking full advantage of it. It's insane. There was only like one part of season two where I was like, okay, this feels a little bit like. Maybe they, they wanted to do more and they were rushed for time. Um, but yeah. We've yapped quite a bit. We always do. But we have a stream to get into as well. And we're already... We're already 11 minutes off time. Um, so why don't we just... Why don't we just get right into it? Why don't I just talk about what we're actually doing on the stream today? Because... Today... On the stream, we are playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. I almost said Outer Wilds, but it's not that. It's Stanley Parable. Um, we're doing Stanley Parable. I haven't played this game in seven years. I played this on someone's Steam library, so I can't see the exact date unless I buy the game. Um, I have not played this game since 2015. <laughs> I have an achievement waiting for me, like a five-year achievement waiting for me. Um, I'm very excited. I've heard very good things about this. I've heard very good, good, good things from my friends. I've seen um, some people have an awesome time in this game. And I'm really excited to have one too. Uh, before we go any further, we're gonna do some really quick housekeeping. If you're new to the stream, welcome, my name is Socks. I'm an indie game dev, I'm a variety streamer. And I hope you enjoy your stay. I use any pronouns also. Uh, we have some rules you gotta follow if you're gonna be here and tune into the stream tonight. Most importantly, first and foremost, this stream is 16 plus only. If you're not 16 or older, leave. Leave. Fortnite's life. With the quali- with something. <laughs> um, please no links in my chat. Please no backseating. Please no spoilers. Unless I ask, and I probably won't ask. Um, I'm new to this, you know, I'm new to the ultra- This is my first time playing it. So don't fucking spoil shit or you get timed out or banned. <laughs> uh, no spam. Keep stuff on topic. Be nice, be respectful, and just have fun. Uh, I have some social media links down below, a Twitter you can follow, a YouTube you can check out for previous stream highlights. You can check out my VOD channel for full streams I've done previously, I did just upload a handful more. Um, just about all my VODs are on there, we're missing like four, and I need to upload those from last week. Um, you can join my Discord server, uh, if you want to do that, I have channels in there and stuff. If you draw a fan out of the stream, post it in this hashtag on Twitter, post it in my Discord server, we'll look at it, we'll smile, we'll show it on stream, and it'll be awesome. Lastly, if you want to support the stream monetarily, you can do so in a variety of ways. You can sub to the channel or give the sub. Subscribers get access to a whole bunch of emotes, to the Minecraft server, and teasers for it when it opens up as well. You can donate bits. Or, the best way to support the channel, donate to me directly. I have a direct donation box down below. If you're on mobile, click the about tab. If you're on PC, scroll down, click on cat dog. I have special alerts set up. And yeah, that's basically everything. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Ugh, now I'm gonna stretch. Dude, now I'm gonna take a new one. Well, dude, I haven't even opened the game up yet. <laughs> I always do this. I never open the game up before we go before we go live. So you always see my like true authentic. 
Oh, the menu's good. They have options in this game? Credits? No way. Uh, let's open up the game. Oh, dude, before I open up the game, let me get my chat on my fucking monitor. Let's open up the game. It's opening. Okay, now it's like eerily silent. It's opening. It's opening. It's open. Hold on. Hold on. We're in! <laughs> okay, we gotta do some audio balancing. It should be good though. I mean, I'm using the same settings as I always do with Outer Wilds, so. I just game is about a man? I think so. Um, we're definitely gonna do subtitles. Screen and subtitle language. <laughs> what if we said fuck it went to French? <laughs> no, 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 do English. <laughs> Have you played the Stanley Parable before? Okay. I don't know how to answer this. Because yes, but not in seven years. I mean, they probably expect that. So I guess I say yes. Yeah, I'll say yes. Please adjust the slider until the computer is barely visible. Oh, Jesus. Um. <laughs> uh, like, I guess I'll do this. I'll do this. I could I could barely see it. I could barely see it. Please enter the current time. The fuck? How do I change the AM? It's not AM. It's fucking it's PM. There we go. Five. Oh my lord. Are they gonna get mad at me? It's 532. No. Accessibility settings can be accessed from the main menu. That's cool. I saw some cool accessibility for this game. Can't they just read my computer time? What the fuck? Okay, hey, how's the audio balancing? Are we good? Should I open it up a little bit more? Dude, I can actually tap out of this game and the audio doesn't stop? Wait until you hear the narrator? Okay. Oh, dude, we don't have Jonathan up. <laughs> dude, I'm so excited. Okay. Um, I mean, we should be good here. Honestly. We should be good. We should be good. There's a TW setting you can turn on. Might be good for stream. I am fine with that. If I can find it. Display content. Enables content warnings. Uh, and an option to skip the settings that deal with suicide, trauma, and mental health issues. I mean, I don't want to skip those. But a, a, it'll warn me? What the hell? I didn't know that was in this game. Okay, I'll turn it on. That's probably good then. That's probably good to have on. Okay, well, we'll have that on. And when we get to those sections, it'll, it'll show a warning. So if you don't want to see that, you know, take care of yourself. That's good. That's a really good feature. Hey, I really like that. I want to give you the option of skipping flags completed. I see. That's very considerate. Well. Can we click on anything here? Nope. Do you know what engine the original was made in? I, I don't. I think Unreal. Now, I'm going to say this before we get in. Um, I'm glad the game content warns me, so the game will do it for me. That's actually very helpful. Um, cause like inscription had, for example, when we were playing it, no spoilers, but has some stuff that I would want to award my audience for. And I wasn't prepared for, <laughs> um, um, but, um, no spoilers, no backseating. Now spoilers, I'm going to spoilers are not just saying what's going on. Spoilers are even like hints. Like if I'm at a section and it's like, oh, this is the crazy section. And you say that in chat, like, oh, you're going to love this next part. This part's insane. It blew my mind. And, or you post a smiley face. I'm going to brace myself. And then it's going to ruin it. And then I'm not, it's not going to be as, as fun. So avoid doing that. It's just harder to say, the menu's insane. <laughs> um, if you can. Like, you're allowed to obviously react to what's going on. I mostly just mean, you know, no smiley faces, no hints. And yeah. Um, that's basically it. I think we can, I think we can get in. The end is never the end. 
This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Dude, can we see 413? Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk. Did he have a model before? Buttons to push. I feel like we didn't see what he looked like. And in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Dude, I don't know if I'm gonna know what's new and what's not now. And then one day, the original something game was very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Just enjoy TBH, new for you. Oh, we can move. Cause I haven't played this game in seven years. I remember some stuff. Dude, can I read these? Committee. 1980, does that say 1981? Now, you're going to learn this very quickly about me. If you haven't been watching the Outer Wild streams, I am a very curious person. <laughs> um, I wish I could read these papers. I wish I could, like, I wish there was, like, a... Wait. Like a zoom-in button? Um, can I click on this? Can I click on this? Can I click on this? <laughs> Wait, there's shit in there. There's a blob in there. A flubber. Um, All his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley it decided mean? to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. Hey, the no audio is good, by the way. Stanley looked. He couldn't what? find a trace of his co-workers. What did I do? I just turned the computer. Uh-oh. I just enabled, like, the super hyper end. <laughs> oh, it's the Pixar lamp. Um... Okay. Oh God. I shouldn't be doing that. I'm gonna enable the like scary monster. Surname access? The fuck? Okay. Where's the, meet the meeting room, right? I mean, I'm assuming I go through the doors. Stanley clicked on literally <laughs> every single door in the office because he doesn't pick up well on cues from his environment. Okay. That was unnecessary. <laughs> I, it's a leaf, I thought it was flubber. Dude, 460, oh, here it comes. <laughs> what? They, no way. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh no. <laughs> what do I do? I... I don't want to make him mad, but I don't want to... Mm. Okay, let's go right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Dude, I see doors in there. Oh! Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. Dude, I can smell really this room. It's worth the detour after all just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, oh. beautifully constructed room. 
Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Dude, this remind. This is like. This this feels like I'm back at Best Buy, and I'm on break right now. Oh my god, dude! It, yes. Like, Really, really worth it being here in the room. Come on, man! Hey, let me reminisce! So utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and... I'm telling tell a story about when I used to work under capitalism, motherfucker! Let me talk! Fuck! <laughs> it, it, now I'm pissed. Point, I, 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 obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. I entered this room. I could like I could feel it on my feet, you know. Like you enter it and you, oh, the cop, the carpet's soft. It Stanley smells like. Standing around waiting for more dialogue, but when a long he's time not gonna let me talk. And there was no more. He decided that the game was trying to send him a message. I, I, I just want to tell a story <laughs> about when I, about my, when I used to work for a company. It's nice. It's a nice break. If I, if I, if I was, I just got an achievement. You can't jump. And I got an achievement. Get your first achievement. Um, I just calming in here, you know, like if this was my break room at a, like the terrible job where you're underappreciated, this would be nice. This would be nice. <laughs> like I'd sit right here. Oh my God. I can, I can feel it. I can imagine it. You sit right here. I have like, I, w I would I would always get a white chocolate Cliff Bar and like little peanut butter pretzels, and I'd sit right here and I'd be on my phone, and there'd be a TV right there. Oh, dude, this is nice. This is nice. Fuck you, dude. I was talking. But at last, um, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Wait, but that room looks cool. I remember that this is the... I, I do actually remember this part of the game. Hold on. Will you get mad at me? Whatever. I'm mad at Stanley you. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Oh, the door closed. Wait, can I go back? Do not lie. If you're lying right now, stop. Oh, shit. Well, I, told, I told the right time. <laughs> um... There's a key card here. Can we die? Uh oh. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it's in motion. Will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift. This is scary. What if the game like actually charges my PayPal account? Oh no. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not <laughs> you, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about be nothing illegal. but you all and this it time. It. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've hmm? forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. For who? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. What, this door? <laughs> or you just want me to go? Okay, man. This is crazy how much this feels like a real place. Like, I know that's like kind of a stupid thing to say. I can imagine being here. Why is this door just... That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this, to reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. I don't... Oh, God. <gasps> As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him. Filling him not just with what? radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No, it 
it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, huh? that's not possible. I can't believe it. Huh? Why did I not notice... It's not going to turn on my webcam. You're not Stanley. You're oh! 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 I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around what? in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the, the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the huh? game for a moment. What's he so doing? Educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. Which choice would you make? <laughs> Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse thought. why you cannot continue talking. <clears throat> Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be it's having a back sack and crack. Wh Excellent. Huh? Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? I didn't and practice. Finally, I didn't, I didn't, you begin I didn't, to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember That's a big that ass in the time. vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to huh? test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Oh no. Ah, what welcome the back. Fuck? You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Oh, why? We're going back? Okay. Okay. Let's go. There's fences on this thing now! Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it okay. seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Okay, let's go. Okay, 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 we can leave, we can leave. Can I go in here? This has to be, yeah, it has to be a door you can open. You have to get like a card from somewhere I bet. Um. This open, is this open? Is this open? Nope, okay. No. Oh, dude, yes, I love this room. Almost there. <laughs> You'll take the door on the left. Back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real no, world. We, I mean, we could just stay here for like a minute, right? I mean, no, there's, like, there's nothing stopping us. Oh, this is a nice co coffee nut. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, it's kind of nice. Okay, okay. If you click on door 453, 800 times it opens. Tech, I mean. <laughs> I don't know if I believe you or not. <laughs> I don't. I don't think anyone would lie about that. Okay, this 
Squid Games. Also, welcome to the channel. <laughs> Why would I lie to you? <laughs> you know, that's true. I didn't think about that. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm mean? quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> okay, let's go. No! Why did you do that? <laughs> Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. What the hell? Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, let's do it. <laughs> what are these? These, ha they, these are like ciphers or some shit. Oh my god. When Stanley calls you. It's like super duper bad. It's because I turned off the computers. about that you my story you've destroyed my work why for what what did you get out of that what did you think was so special about seeing the game undone left here like so much garbage it, well, it's worthless now and what am i supposed to do even if there were a way to continue would it be worth it to know that my story is now incorrect how can i go back to that i can't erase that knowledge i'll have to live with it forever reliving its impossibility forever oh, i couldn't live that way is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. No, come to. on. It's not going to close the game. I have to. Oh, shit. You were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you run it into the ground. What? Did you think that would be funny? You just had to see. I mean, a little bit. Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. It's super understand that if like I Minecraft. say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you. You're a child. Oh, my story. <laughs> if you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard Dude, on spoilers. it. Dude, I tried so hard to make... ...is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always no, putting come on, the story man. first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <sighs> He's actually going to come through the monitor and kill me. <laughs> no! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means what choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I'll just do it one more time for good measure. No. Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Oh my God! The law dog scared the shit out of me. Exactly <laughs> 
Maybe me choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. I thought it was a monster! <laughs> All right. <clears throat> when I thought he was growling at me! Two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Talking a lot on the inside. Press buttons to do the la la combo six. What? Read out the la la instruction seven. La la winner. Thank you, Lala Dog. So I think what's happening here. So I think what I think what's happening here is when I get to an ending, the game is putting me back to a part where I can go to a new ending. But what I think might also be happening here is the game wants me to think that, but that's not actually what's happening. And if I keep going in here, no. Why did you do that? <laughs> no, it's the same. Are it's the same every time. <laughs> is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story. But first. what if it does? I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. No. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> it wouldn't be though. I don't. No! Why did you do that? <laughs> Quickly, hurry back. <laughs> behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly I can't keep doing this. and always putting... But I'm like, what if it does something? I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. There has to be something... No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. <sighs> ...behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. <laughs> I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. Okay, I'm gonna do it one more time. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two... I'm gonna do it one more time. Doors, ...he entered the door on his left. I'm gonna do it one more time. No! Why did you do that? Go to the door! Okay. Hurry back! Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing <laughs> it's responsibly so, it's so and funny, always though. putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. We have to, we have to stop. I have to break the, <laughs> no, stop. <sighs> okay. No, why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Is behaving exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll okay. be fine. All right. <laughs> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> like the... It's not even funny. It's not, I Okay, okay, we're gonna re- I need to get a fresh start. I need to just- I need no. to- I need- Why did you do that? Okay. <laughs> ...is behave exactly as Stanley okay. would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead it's and not you'll even be there. fine. All right. <clears throat> 
When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his It's not even there. It's crazy. The new content Daddy is where it totally to was. Go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. What did that say? Let a ball up inside you. Take it up. We're not supporting you more. Using signs to assure employees that everything is okay. Make sure your slide has a thick blue graphic in the header and throw some bevel on all text. This will ensure a calm and productive work environment. Hey, perpetuality! Thank you for the three months. Everyone is unique. You, most of all. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Slides, charts, charts. What the hell? <clears throat> Need reviews of charts on the same slide to pick the same information. <laughs> Rate of increase of graphs per slide. Please don't. <laughs> The boss appreciate me on your boss appreciate minute worksheet. Sort of top twenty things you love most about your boss. Fill out intricate and return to your boss appreciation specialist. Solving interpersonal conflict. If you ever find yourself in a conflict with another diligent employee like yourself, kind towards yourself. What? Remember that it takes two people to start a fight, and right now you're both of them. What are your dreams for the future? Mitosis. Help. Comatose. Lunch. Tips for not getting fired. Do unbelievably amazing work all the time, every day, with no exception of promotion or recognition. Wow. Anything else in here? Probably not. I think this game is ha is fucking fed up with me right now. Oh, dude, the broom closet. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh God. Dude, the atmosphere in this game, everything in this game feels so real. What the? Squid game? I've never seen an office like this. What the hell? This looks like the, the red, the fucking director's room from Squid Game. Manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door what? lay all the answers to his questions. Microphone? And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer <coughs> just last week. Oh! Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was oh, no. only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never Hello? to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. Was it Night Shark 114? He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Night Shark 114! Did it work? Hello? Night Shark 114. Hello? Come on, man. Hello? <clears throat> Night Shark what Stanley spoke the curve. One one five. Night Shark one one five. Night he spoke it into the receiver. <laughs> right there on the wall. Night Shark one one five. Wait, did it work? Night Shark one one five. It's not fucking working. I'm sorry, is there a problem? Dude! You didn't mishear me, did you? I'm saying it! Please I'm actually doing what you're telling the me to do! Code into the receiver. Otherwise we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Come on! Don't tell me that. Night Shark 115. Not hello. Do I have to hold it? Okay, fine. You're not gonna do it. But you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you okay. for this one single thing for your respect. 
The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have Night gone through the door five. on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. <laughs> why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You... What? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors... <gasps> what the hell? The door on his left. That is Stanley. scary. Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? What the fuck is Stanley, you please. No, he's gonna like look at me. I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. <laughs> well, that was our first ending. Take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Go on, the go on this one. Okay. Go on this one. Okay. <coughs> Wait. You need time Aww. to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. What? Well, okay. Oh shit, and we're back here. <laughs> I, can't. I wonder if I can like enter shit on this computer. That was what that was the first ending. No. I'm good at following directions. <laughs> <clears throat> All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked. He couldn't find a trick. Okay. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. What if I do it again? What if I do... Uh... What if I do it again and I go through the right door? <laughs> Input receipt? What the fuck did I just do? Dude, there's some shit on these computers. What? I can go back here? Was this spelled before? What the fuck? I guess these are... Okay, that's not anything. I don't think. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I can't. You can't do this to me again, man. You know what I do here. No, but I can't. I can't. Just go. Okay, we can leave. We can go, go, go. No, it was open. Okay. Just business as usual. Wait, I've been here. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave Wait. of disbelief, the fuck? Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Oh, well, we did that, and you didn't listen to me. There. Oh, <gasps> this is open now. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here.
It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the You got mad at me closet. for sitting in the employee He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. What is F.A.? Fuck all! <laughs> you motherfucker! Are you... This is a really dirty ass. in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? <laughs> Why me? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. <coughs> you do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. <laughs> I never would have thought to mention it. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Ow! Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. I don't know, it's kind of nice in here. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. <laughs> what he the hell? got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs oh, and Jesus. hookers. Oh, <laughs> did you get the broom closet ending? Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. No, I'm moving well, in around. a situation like this, the responsible thing is I'm to have someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of Wait. before it begins to decompose. <laughs> Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. They have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. Are you not a human? Indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. <laughs> Is that it? But it's not an ending! I want to get the ending! I want to get the room closet ending! You're talking about an ending! I'll just wait here another minute. I can drink some water. <clears throat> My favorite drone hum? I wish I had like a genuine answer to that question. He's a troll? What the fuck? Oh, I can't. I can't. <laughs> okay. It's so hard. Like, this is a fucked up. It's so hard to pull me myself out of these situations. Cause it's so funny to just like sit here. Like shit. Like shit. Like this for me is like quicksand. Cause I tr my, when I try to struggle, <laughs> I just like I dig myself deeper, and it's harder to leave. <laughs> The more I talk about it, the funnier it is to just like stand here. Okay, we should. It's not even about new dialogue at this point. It's just funny. Now 
now it's like kind of scary because this is like safe and home and if I go out there it's scary I don't know what's out there there's like millions of different endings out there well, if I, what if I see something that scares me or makes me sad if I'm in the room closet all the time I'll never have to see that we just can stay here you know we have uh, we have this wrench I can't interact with and a broom and a dirty you know mop bin but if I go out there it's, it's scary I don't know what's out there I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. I can't. I can't. I can't. But it's always the cave. I can't. I can't. I feel, like, I feel like Spongebob now. A fucking Spongebob character. <laughs> like when Spongebob... Well, and then you know what happened when Spongebob left his pineapple? Is he got beat up by a fucking gorilla. What if that happens to me? I don't want to leave. <laughs> so many of you here leave them because of the worst possible thing you could do. That's not true. We had that little we had that little thing where we played Roblox for a while. <laughs> like every day. <laughs> Sarcasm, by the way. I loved that. I do miss Roblox. Scooter didn't actually time travel in that episode, he just did this. I mean, we could just open it, you know, look outside, maybe. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. <laughs> I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. You too. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the control to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's gonna close the door if I go in there. <laughs> what was that? I just heard like a click. You hear that? There was a fucking there's a click. There's no more dialogue. Welcome to the stream. But it's not always about the dialogue. <laughs> this is this is kind of just about me at this point. <laughs> I can't. Also, don't worry. If I'm doing shit like this, don't worry about telling me there's nothing there because I promise you, I know. I probably do. I probably can tell. Look, do you hear that? This is just about my hubris at this point. Look, you hear it? What the hell is that noise? Yeah, like Rock said, no backseating. Even if it, even if your your backseating is there's nothing else to see here. For me, that's a spoiler. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> what if I just? Uh, Coming to a staircase. No! Stand Let me go back. Go oh back. I don't want to. I don't want to go forward. Open the door, please. Please open the door. I don't want to go through. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to. I thought I was jingling. Wait, this wasn't open before. What the hell 
is this? A car? But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work oh. hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all? I want to go None to the room. <laughs> any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? What the hell? Why did doors close automatically? Okay, there was a con I was going to wait till he stopped talking. There was a content warning. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Yeah. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying what? and began to gently float above Whoa! the sky. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. Actually? It was so Whoa. much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice huh? spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself. I have, I, I've Stanley been speaking, I've been, I've been waiting for this guy to stop talking. As he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. Oh, Jesus. So he closed his eyes gently. Okay, content. Uh, if you didn't see it, content warning he felt the cool for mental illness. Blanket on his skin. For the depictions of mental illness, I believe, back. is what it said. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Okay. Where are we? Stanley began screaming. Please, someone what? wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything oh, went black. Okay. This is the story of a woman named what? Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to oh her my. work. 
But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am safe. Oh my God. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Okay. Okay. That's my second ending, yeah, what the hell? All that happened because of the broom closet, huh? It's easy to just call someone crazy when you don't know what they mean. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Very true. Very true. Um, what the hell? I'm like, speech. I was waiting for him to stop talking. And I was going to be like, hey, there was a thing in the top right that's like a content warning. And then he just kept going and going and going. I didn't get the chance to even fucking speak. Yeah, Stanley died. Um, well, okay. That sure was a... Hey, I'm going to I'm gonna say this. I don't know... Like I said, this is all more or less new to me because I haven't played this game in seven years. Um, and I, 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 I don't, I don't know what the hell's new. You're going to want to just walk over, just talk over him for that because there's points where he'll just not stop. I see. I see. Yeah. Then I will, I'll definitely keep all that in mind. co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided <laughs> to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Almost never done things. It's kind of funny though. It's fine. Look. Wait, what? This was. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. It was a one before. Now it's two. I think. Huh, okay. Never played with no this game forward and backward and it's fun to see like this. Yeah, I, it's a lot of fun. I'm, in, I'm enjoying streaming it. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, this wasn't here before, hello? Like new content? No way, wait. I mean, I guess we go through, right? We probably, I mean, I guess we go through. I was, I was wondering whether I was like, I, I don't know if any of this was new. I guess all, everything we've seen so far was old. Wait, what? How much new content is in this oh, game? New content? What does that mean? New content. <laughs> what? Um, okay. Oh, okay. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. <laughs> As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded oh. on in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Alex features Hirsch? exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. What the hell? Please. Step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe.
Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm Wait, very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. <laughs> what if we just, like... What if we just, like, don't see it and we go that way? <laughs> it is Alex Hirsch. That's crazy! What the hell? What was that? Was that in the game or was that in real life? What the hell did I just hear? <laughs> I think that was like Damien dropping like a coin. <laughs> oh, okay, let's go. Okay, so far it's an end. <clears throat> Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... Uh, Oh, here we oh. go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the <laughs> new content. I've oh, never no, been no. more ready. Let's do it. What is it, what is it gonna be? Hmm. Hmm. Mm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra <clears throat> Deluxe mostly tedious. It's as if them. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. Okay. What the hell? What is this? Right. Oh no, right, no, 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 The jump circle? <laughs> we can jump! You can jump! <laughs> Wait. I don't want to waste all my... What happens if I hit zero? Do I not get any more? Wait, 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 wait. Is... Is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? I could. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's let's leave twenty. Oh shit! I used so many already. <laughs> yeah, got, okay, okay, okay. Hey, come on, come on with the back sitting. Like I know, but come on, come on. You're gonna start getting timed out and the message deleted. It's a, don't back to me jumping. <laughs> Goodness. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game Pre are well, not moving fun. forward, yes. It's just D delete messages. Jump scheme. Is this what passes for exciting new content? <laughs> if this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of here. new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Now with over a thousand hours of new content, and if oh wait, there's more. Very good. Yes. Oh no. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. <laughs> I'm ready hell? for whatever it is. That was it. That's it. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! You see, Stanley. <laughs> This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm Overwatch looking right too? now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What actually? quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. Oh, it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. Okay. No frills. That's... No gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you Look, say? man, I mean, I'm down. That's not a camp. This is... Whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, hey, this is weird. <laughs> oh, that's our office. Psst. Stanley, come over here. In the vent. I want to show you something. What? What the hell is this, man? <laughs> ah! 
<laughs> oh! Huh? <laughs> Where are you taking me? Okay, loading screen. You love okay. it? Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got I me do. thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So uh -huh. I made something special and tucked what it away here the where the fuck? game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. <laughs> what the hell is it in Dark Souls? Is this literally gonna like turn into a completely different fucking game? <laughs> oh my, what the hell is this? Oh my god! I call it the memory zone. Whoa. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories Whoa. so I can relive the peak experiences of my life when Wait, this I is want. pretty. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on I PC. remember this! You see, Stanley, doesn't Aww. the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Aww. Parable was before it was solid with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of Aww. 2013, when the game originally I launched? do! Back I remember then, watching people play it on YouTube! Video games had integrity. Back then, it Aww. all meant something. Oh, the waste. I remember... 2013. Wow! This is my first cat to re <laughs> release of Stanley Barrel in 2013. Wow. Dude, I, I do remember all this. I remember the grass ending where you went outside. I remember they, they sent like copies to YouTubers and it had unique dialogue in this room, like right here. Oh. I thought my first dollar. Wow, the demo! I remember the demo! I need to get that. <laughs> I need to get this one. I can go get it right now. Wow. Wow, look at these nominees. New video game releasing today. Creator surprisingly down to earth. Going from scandal to news crisis. Colleges show uneven effort to enroll poor. Cost hinder new tag to achieve diversity. Business leaders pushing election of council. Late edition. Today, sunny, hot, humid, high 92 tonight. Pretty cloudy. Tomorrow, sun and clouds, hot, humid. Weather map, page 818. Wow. I remember that ending because we just got that one. What the hell? Deals with tough choices. Yeah, it, it sure does. Little Stanley. Oh, what the, the little hamster. This is pretty. Look at this. There's a bench here. I wish I could sit on it. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Oh my god. Like this stunning triumph of games <laughs> journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. And now, it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. It doesn't have to be that way. I mean, you made all that? That's a portal! What the hell? You made all this, man. Nostalgic, it was good. There's a, there's a choice here. Hey, what's down here? Memory zone maintenance. I'm scared. I'm scared to go down there. Oh, okay. Huh. What the? That's scary. Oh, it's Stanley! Oh, look at all this! It's the fucking engine, I think! It's Roblox Studio! Dude, on, off. 
I remember. I, I vaguely remember this. I haven't played this game in so long. This is awesome. From the Stanley Parable. Oh, dude, the red and blue doors. A car. Dude, an iMac. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. Oh. It just needed to be left alone to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Oh, Hey, I can't get in there. The serious room? The greatest wealth is memory. Oh, these were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wow. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's uh -huh. this? What's down here? What is this? <gasps> That's scary. Okay, what's on here? Is this Half-Life? Oh no. Oh god no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from oh, no. Steam, <laughs> the online video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? I thought this was, uh, is this Half-Life 3? Oh my, Honestly, I oh could my not god! I could not to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue <laughs> proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. Well I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered <laughs> web of profound philosophical <laughs> insights that really I can't funny. even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. What the hell? There's another, there's just bad reviews. Are these real bad reviews? Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? <laughs> Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut oh from the God. game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Dear, what an awful memory to have to hold on to. <laughs> These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. You're not a failure. Like I let these people down. No, come on, man. Perhaps the Stanley Parable. We don't talk like that. As sterling as I always remember. That's not true. I loved it, the two endings I just got. And playing it like, you know, a couple years ago. What's, What's this? this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations <coughs> oh. of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Uh. Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely... Oh, well, wait, I don't want to... Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's what always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Oh my god! And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's That's what the been about you. have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people. 
And if the people want silence, then by goodness, that's what they're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Here, I don't want to make you shut up. Pretend that I've just like the broom closet we were in there listening monologue. to you. And it goes something like this. The story and the choices mm. or what have you, and therefore by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably we all until the end of time, at which time everything all at once. So now you see, blah 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 blah. We've eaten too much, and it can't be just yet. No, no, until two hundred and forty-five. That the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture. It went on for nearly ten thousand years until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say. The story and the choices, or what have you, and therefore by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably we all until the end of time, at which time everything all at once. So now you see, blah 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 blah. We've eaten too much, and it can't be just yet. No, no, until two hundred and forty-five. But the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture. It went on for nearly ten thousand years. Until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left? Until so much more than forever ago. Which is why I say. The story and the choices, or what have you, and therefore by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably okay, man. we all until That's the enough. End That's of enough. Time, That's enough. At which time everything all okay. comes. So now you see, blah blah. Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary <laughs> verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of course, I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description oh, of it, but if I had to describe it, I'd say it was perhaps less of a rumination and more of a treatise. Or maybe a manifesto. Look, I'll outline it for you very briefly and you can tell me what you think. Okay, so my theory is that any choice you've ever made is simply a series of choices made by the person who you are or were or will be at the time of having made said choice. That is to say, if by articulating a choice you've already made, you bring that choice into being, then by making no choice and saying nothing, are you not simply erecting in the sanctuary of time a monument to every person you've ever been, making every choice to which you've ever given your great gift of mortal and yet timeless thought? Or rather, do all of the choices you've ever made, in fact, make you more Jesus. not this kind of person, and in fact, do the very opposite? You see, it could in fact be both of these things at once. That you are both making choices and not making choices. No, no, we're thank you for the six months. You and not affecting you at the same time by the tier of the three fact three at that six you months. Both thank are you, Nover. I'm not making them. Okay, at first I was leaning towards manifesto, but now I'm going to circle around and slap the treatise label on this one. I think it has much more of a treatise vibe to it. But wouldn't you say that manifesto just has a much grander sort of tone? It has a mouthfeel that is rich with ambition and history. Ambitious history, if you will. Ah. See, now you've got me going back to manifesto. Heavens, at this rate, we're going to be here all day. Okay, look, I have a method for exactly this sort of situation. And I do find myself in this situation oh, frequently. God. I'm going to say each word back and forth in repeated uh -huh. succession until I become sick of one or the other, in which case the word I am not sick of shall be the victor. It is an unimpeachable strategy, Stanley. It's rescued me from disaster in countless situations. All right, <laughs> Andrew, here we go. Game. Treatise, manifesto. Treatise, manifesto. Treatise, manifesto. Treatise, manifesto. Treatise. He's saying it like a manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. Treat Jesus. Okay. <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. 
The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie 9 will say Cookie about this, nine. and whether they'll edit the rating of their Steam review, or at least change some of the wording, perhaps. To be honest, I don't even know if one can change their review in the first place. I guess I should become better educated on exactly how to do works. <laughs> Free mix of three Perhaps, that would have That's been so true. Thing to check on that is so I true. About this whole exercise of making the skip button. Although I have to imagine that after seeing this exciting new technology at work, surely whoever it is runs Steam will instantly run out and implement a new feature to make it possible to edit <laughs> one's review merely because of this very situation. Yes, I think that's quite likely. Or perhaps they'll simply grant this particular user the ability to change their review <laughs> so that the feature is not widely <laughs> abused. Look, I would even be okay with Steam altering this particular review so that it reads as something more beneficial. Something along the lines of, this game is the best game. Hmm. Let me start over. Oh, How my. About this? From, the, from the ashes of depravity rises what? the phoenix of quality. How else to describe the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe? Such a revolutionary step forward in the lineage of one of the most beloved video game properties of all time. The additions and changes made to this expansion will surely resonate in the annals of the history of all media ever made. It is perhaps true to say that no mistakes are forever etched in stone, for the stone into which the Stanley Parable was carved has itself been transmuted. Offering a message of hope to God, those who have ill, ever it goes on for so long. You are not beyond redemption. You may change, and you may become more, so much more than you were before. If there is any message to be taken from the standard, when is we both sure? I mean, yeah. Relax, <laughs> I mean, I know I've done that before. A privilege, a joy it is. Some of my favorite kind of content is bad on it purpose, but in a funny way. As a community, as a world. There is time for us to become our greatest selves, as great as we ever could dream of in our wildest, most ambitious visions for a brighter future. Wow, now Stanley, that's a review. It's, it's perfect. <laughs> it's the perfect review. It's the review I've always dreamed of receiving. I, well, I have to read it again. It's simply too wonderful. I have to experience this just one more time. From the, from the ashes of depression. From the rises the f okay welcome back stanley now i should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer uh -huh. that last one was well i want to say maybe 30 45 minutes the door is gone not, was there was I there a door here by any means but it's well there's really only so much i can ramble on to myself well, maybe about. not maybe it was already gone but at any rate i do suggest that we not press the button again okay i think the skip button has been aptly demonstrated and we can say goodbye to it and just Wait, how do we get out of here? Where did the door go? I don't understand. Was there a door that led into this room? I do feel quite certain that there was oh, one here. Oh God! Before. How else would we have gotten into the room in the first place? I don't think one can enter a room without a door of some sort or a window or something like that. Do you see a window anywhere? A porthole? A sufficiently large crack in the wall? I'll take any of these. Um... For us to move on and to. Please step away from the skip button to go anywhere other than the skip button. There was a door here before, wasn't there? I swear there was. Where did it go? Can you maybe just ram your way through a wall? Is there any possibility that you could, say, slam your body into the wall until enough damage is done for you to be able to leave? Please, I'll take any option at all. I'm asking you to work with me here. That's very true. We need a door. We need a door of some kind. I can work with any kind of door as long as it can open and lead from this one room to another. This is what I feel like another. having ADHD. I, I'm going to step away for just a moment, and I'm going to try to find us a door. I don't know how exactly to remove a door and place it in a different wall, but I will find a way, I promise. You just need to not do anything. Don't press the skip button. Please, please, please do not press the skip button just wait here wait here for me and don't press the skip button got it yes good okay
have to go use the restroom, actually. What if I just did that and I didn't say anything? What happened? Did, did, did he said something? Actually? What did he say? What did he say? What? <laughs> We're joking? Oh, okay. Windows. That's not what time it is. Dude, no, man. No more donated five dollars. Please press the button. There has to be something like. Oh my God! What if it takes like a whole year? I just got here. What's happening? Um, we're waiting. The narrator is going to go bring us a door. Um, there's absolutely no skip button in the room. So we're, we're just waiting.
demanded five dollars. Take his tree. Clown. Talk his manifesto. Tree was his heroic. Manifesto was just exactly like grandma. Someone told me a thousand when you push the button. I got me the gas. <laughs> Oh my god, I got the tower. King Tower! <laughs> it's still out of here. <laughs> Wait, I have a reward! Open the game back up. Gems. I have to plug my phone in. I donated a dollar just to say please. Yeah, I, I, the TTS is at three or above. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous thing. The thing. This is only like half a bit. Like, like I really am like waiting. <laughs> I don't want to skip. I don't want him to get sad. Person, it's true. It's a, it's a reason. I should probably add that. Yeah. It's because PayPal fees are like enormous on anything under three dollars.
do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said standing walk past the room closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the Persona, thank you for the eight months! <laughs> I never would have thought I don't know, would the room cause us to the channel? Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Ow! Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. Ah, memories. I don't know, it's kind of nice in here. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. <laughs> What he the hell? Really got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs. Oh, and Jesus! <laughs> Can we remember what's happening right now? Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion. I mean, we're, 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 maybe when we're done with this, we only got a little bit more. We're like an hour. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and we're just about to leave because there's nothing here. When a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system. And you what are we doing here? We're, uh, we're reminiscing. Look, we got uh, we got a clock. We're waiting for our narrator to come back and bring us a door. And he told us not to press the skip button. So we're just, you know, sitting here reminiscing on like earlier in the stream. We were in the broom closet. Well, thank, you for, hey, bro, thank you for the anonymous gifts up to the broom closet. Are you not a human? Of the long -term sustainability of your species. Please remove their I want to keep watching, but I can't. Well, there's a. Well, you could ask Twitch to put in a skip button. Ensure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming, so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. I know what you're doing. The broom closet jokes are great. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. It was great. I wish we could go back there. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> but it's not an ending. I want to get the ending. I want to get the room closet ending. You're talking about an ending. This was awesome. I'll just wait here another minute. I can drink some water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the immersion. This is great. <laughs> I can't. My favorite drone hum? I remember when someone asked me that. I, I didn't I know how to like answer. A genuine answer to that. Whoa! Hey, Perpet wait, that's in the Wait, no, that's now. Perpetual reality, thank you for the tier one sub to the skip button. I, I thought that was in the I thought that was over I thought that was in the, the broom closet part. I couldn't tell. Do I have an answer for the hum question yet? Ah, uh, not yet. I've, I've thought about it some. Cover the whole screen, it'll be like we bent back in time. <laughs> okay. It's so fucking funny. It's so hard. Like, this is a fucked up. It's so hard to pull me myself out of these situations. Because it's so funny to just like sit here. It is so funny to just sit. That's so true. Like shit like, shit like this for me is like quicksand. It's true. Oh, that's so true. When I try to struggle, I just like I dig myself deeper, and then it's harder to leave. That's kind of true. Okay, well, I wouldn't say quicksand because I like it here. It is to just like stand here. Okay, it's we not funny. It's not funny at all. Uh, thank you for the anonymous gifts up to Stanley. It's not even about new dialogue at this point. It's just funny. Yeah, there's no dialogue. We're creating our own dialogue. That's all we need to do. Now it's like kind of scary. Because this is like safe. And <gasps> Bergeron, and thank you for the 10 gifts up. Holy shit. Them. There's like millions of different endings out there. Well, if I, what if I see something that scares me or makes me sad? If yeah, I'm in the see, room closet true. all the time, I'll never have to see that. Maybe the door is a bad stay thing. Here, you know, we, have, uh, we could stay here. We, we could just watch old memories with and where everything was and good and great. We don't have to, uh, you know, in. we've made plenty of memories. Why do we need to make any more? It's scary. I don't know what's out there. It is scary. I don't want to leave. I can't. I can't. 
<laughs> this was one of our greatest hits. People loved this. This is how everyone found my channel. <laughs> This was crazy. This was this was so awesome. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I feel like I feel like SpongeBob now. With SpongeBob, well, and then you know what happened when SpongeBob left his pineapple? Is he got beat up by a fucking gorilla? I don't know, man. What if that happens to me? I'm gonna be crazy. We're leaving. We're gonna the worst possible thing you could do. I mean, well, we'll get That's there. We'll true. get there. Well, I know we press the. Well, I don't think we do press the we button. Had that little, we had that little sting where we. Do we? I think we wait until the door yeah, comes, and I don't even know if we go through the door. <laughs> Sarcasm, by the way, I love that. I do miss Roblox. Wait, was that a pa was that a pastime time alert? Just did this. No, it wasn't. I mean, we could just open it. You know, look outside, maybe. Oh, I didn't like this part. No, this was scary. Oh, thank God. Whew. No, don't go out there. Stop going back in. It's good to have you on board. <laughs> no, no, go, go. Oh no, I forgot what happened after this. Uh. <laughs> oh, Prisciotto, thank you for the 10 gift subs. <laughs> okay, we're back. It's okay, it's okay. Maybe this time we'll just stay in and we won't go out. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up Oh, God. No, go back in, go back in, please. <gasps> no, go back! No, don't go through the door! No, I forgot! No, 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 go, go, go! It's okay. Phew. Oh, I thought we were. I, I really thought we were gonna leave that time. No, stop! What was that? I just heard like a click. Phew, thank God. What? The, wait, what are you doing? Go in the door. No, stop! You hear that? <sighs> Guys, look. Don't, 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 don't. There's a fucking, there's a click. There's no more dialogue. Welcome we to the stream. We look so safe in the broom closet. But it's not always about the dialogue. <laughs> this is, this is kind of just about me at this point. <laughs> oh, we're gonna, oh, we're gonna lose it all. We should like this. Don't worry about telling me there's nothing there because I promise you, I know. I probably do. I probably can tell. Look, do you hear that? This is just about my hubris at this point. Don't go through that door! What the hell is that noise? Don't go through that door. No! Yeah, like Rock said, no backseating. Even if it, even if your your backseating is there's nothing else to see here. I'm not backseating. That's a spoiler. <laughs> I'm not I'm trying to warn you. Oh my god. Oh no! <laughs> what if I just <laughs> <laughs> No! No! Go back! We lost it. Everywhere. I want to go through. I didn't like this part of the stream. I really hated this. I've been jingling. I really did. This was terrible. Like we did. Just pause it. Just pause it. We've gotten way off the rails. All we need to do, look, all we need to do, what did we do? We went to the memory zone. Let's let's retrace our steps. We went to the memory zone. We went here and then we got to a place. We did the steam reviews. Little too far. Okay, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. We, I gotta, I gotta see this in order, chronological order. We went to the steam reviews. This was all right. I didn't like this too much. And then we went here and then 
We, we there was a Steam review about skipping ahead. See, this scared me. Watch. I'm frightened here. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely. Oh wait, I don't want to. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews See? from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's. Business. See this freak the fuck. That's where we are right now. Anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes. A oh, I remember it like it was like just earlier, like just thirty minutes ago. Oh my God. And there it is. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward. See, I hesitated. I didn't want to press it. I was smart not to press it. You. With just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's, <laughs> it's always been about you. Been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. It has always no been about me. Listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. Dude, I miss. I remember. When, remember when we used to have a narrator? And if the people want silence, then by goodness, I hope he comes back soon. Oh my God, the clock. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. I don't yeah. want to make you shut we'll up. Pretend that I've just like the room closet, we were in there listening to you. And it goes something like this. The story and the choices mm. or what have you. And therefore, God. by becoming it is. So on and so forth. Until inevitably, we all until the end of time. At which time, everything all at once. So, now you see, blah, 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 mm. blah, blah, mm. blah, 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 blah. We've eaten too much and it can't be just yet. No, no, until 245. That the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture. It went on for nearly 10,000 years. Until just yet. That's right, it went on for 10,000 years. And the first ever stream to hit 10,000 years. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say. Things were better before we hit the skip choices, button. Or what have you. And therefore, by becoming he was waiting end, patiently. So on and so forth, Nothing bad end, was happening. All until the end of time. At which time, everything all at once. So, now you see. Blah, 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 blah. We've eaten too much and it can't be yeah. just yet. No, no, until 245. <laughs> that the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture. It went on for nearly 10,000 years. Until just yesterday. Here and there, forward and back. And never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say the story and the choices or what I didn't kill the narrator. And therefore, I didn't kill. No. So no. On and so forth, until inevitably okay. We're sitting here. We're That's waiting That's patiently That's like That's we've been asked. Too. Now you see. Blah. Ah! We shouldn't have done that. Ooh. You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long rest. So impatient. Full of <laughs> Are so boorish. And lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of course. This was a bit of a character development moment for me, you know. I didn't fully I I'd made a bad decision, and it's not yet that we'd truly realized the the grave error in our actions up to this point. Or maybe a manifesto. Why don't we? I'll outline it for you very briefly, and you can. Well, oh, okay. So my theory is that any choice you've ever made is simply a series of choices made by the person who you are, or were, or will be at the time of having made said choice. That is to say, if by articulating a choice you've already made. Why don't we skip? Uh, we we could skip ahead a little bit. There's this one part of the part where I, it was really really good. Hold on. And don't press the skip button. Oh God. Okay, I won't. Yes. Okay. That's right. When was the last time we talked to him? And then it was this. the restroom actually what if That's I used true. the bed and I didn't say anything
What happened? I didn't miss any dialogue, did I? Did the, they said something? Actually? No! I was in the bathroom! I missed it again? Oh my god. What did he say? What? <laughs> Look, we could just... We're joking? Oh, okay. We're bound to, to remember this part of the stream where I remember in this part of the stream where I went to the bathroom and then I went to the bathroom again while we were watching it. We can just wait and we can catch it on the, the next the next go around. Windows. And then it'll be fine. And then I'll know. Because I can't, I don't want to miss any dialogue. So we'll just, we'll wait. We'll just sit here and we'll wait. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Is this streamer really typing while they're live? That's a little unprofessional. To be saying stuff while you're live? Come on, man. Get into the content. Oh, yes, there we go. Perfect angle. I remember this. Well, legally, I'm I'm advised to suggest you don't do that. <laughs> you guys, this is what you're here for, right? To remember? Why why did we start doing this again? Do it over. When did we start remember? Hold on. When did we start remember? This is like. Hold on, hold on. Like hold on. Let me refresh the let me refresh the VOD. Hold on. Oh, that's the beginning of stream. We got like six hours. To, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think it was like here? Hold on. Okay, there's that. There's that. We can skip that. Oh dude, there here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. We moment of moment of the tree, this, this is where Yes, I love this part. We don't get to do this too often. Like, you know, reminisce on old stream. Because we're usually so, so in the moment. We're we never get to do this. Minecraft or whatever we're doing. We're usually so in the moment we never get time to reminisce. We could talk We could talk about some of the greatest hits we've like The greatest had hits. Stream. Like this part of the... Oh, yes. Yes, it's you can do it again. Oh, I'm so happy. Remember this? I do remember this. Business as usual. Business as usual. It's a, it has, I hold on. This part of the stream. I loved this part of the stream. This was awesome. This was oh, awesome. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is so. Oh my God. This was installed. This was awesome. This was so. Dude, it, we were safe in there. We were safe. We never. We didn't have a, a tantalizing no, skip button. We no, no, no skip we button. I know, moment. right? We, we didn't have any skip story. button to tantalize us. We didn't have any choice to work. All we had to do was sit here and wait. Look at this. Right? That's what I'm this saying. Was a, this was a really good stream. It was a really I good really stream. The, the way they kind of. I mean, there, it was a little, you know, controversial. The decision later it on. It was controversial, but I, I mean, I've to grown just, to like, like it. Around in a room with a ticking clock and a skip button for like, okay. I don't know, like what was what would it be? Like four or five hours. Okay, it wasn't that long. What is FA? Come on, and then we didn't even press Grow the skip up. button. We just ended the stream. We didn't end. This is a dirty ass. Who does this guy think he is? Is he live right now? He's live. Sitting here insulting me? Uh, my stream! It's not your stream, it's my stream! You don't get to sit here, complain what I decide to do, Socks BX. What the, who verified you anyway? What the hell's the matter with you? Dude, Dark Web Prejoto, thank you for the sub. <laughs> Prejoto? What the hell, man? Eight months? Eight months? Thank you. Would the broom cause a sub to the channel?
I'm getting mad. <laughs> we didn't get the broom closet ending. Ah, oh, memories. Yeah, memories, huh? You know what? I didn't like this part of the stream. I didn't. In fact, I hated it. Yeah, I did just say that. What the hell is right? This was stupid. This was stupid. It's not even funny. And then we and then we played it twice. What the hell are we thinking? Can we remember what's happening right now? I don't remember. I can't even think. Maybe like there's three fucking people talking at once about three conversations at three different points of time. What? The, uh, skip ahead. Skip. Ahead. You know what? Skip the hell ahead. What? Hold on. Hold on. Yes, Hold on. Don't do that. What? Stream over. Yes, you don't do that. Do what? Uh, wait, the stream. Hey, oh, oh, what did you do to? They're sabotaging me. They don't want me to. Uh, they don't think I deserve to watch the stream. The room closet. We were in there listening to you. I remember the room closet. Oh, hold on, hold on. Best you don't do that. What? So true. Like shit like, shit like this for me is like quicksand. It's true. Oh, that's so true. It's, it's not like quicksand. Oh my god. It's like I dig myself deeper and it's hard to leave. That's kind of true. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't say quicksand because I like it here. It is than just like stand here. Okay. It's not funny. It's not funny at all. It's not funny. Uh, thank you for the anonymous gifts up to Stanley. Thank you for the anonymous gifts up to Stanley. Yeah, skip ahead. Violent. Skip it. Can we skip yet? Can we skip yet? Come on. Come on. Let me see what. Let me see what this streamer is doing right now. Two eighteen. It's not working, guys. It's not working. Why don't we? Hold on. You guys, this is what you're here for, right? No. To remember? I mean, I do remember. What, why did we start doing this again? Yeah, why? tell me why we started doing this. Tell, show me. You know what? Show me. Don't just tell me. Show me. When did we start remembering? This is like... Show me when we started remembering this. Hold on. Go ahead. Refresh the page. Go ahead. Refresh. The, there refresh you go. There you go. Much. Make sure you take the window capture off in case something something doesn't you don't want to show on stream shows oh, up. That's the beginning, That's the beginning of, stream. of stream. Go ahead. Skip we that part. We can skip the housekeeping. Hold on. Hold on. Skip, just skip it all. Skip it all. It skip like the whole here? stream. Why don't we? Oh, there we go. That's gone. You know, we can skip that. We can skip that. Thank you, Nomer. Oh, dude. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yep. This is where. Yes. This is it. We don't get to do this too often. Like, you know, reminisce on old stream. Because we're usually so, so in the moment. That's so true. We never get to do this. Minecraft or whatever we're doing. We're usually so in the moment we never get time to reminisce. Oh. We, we never get time to reminisce. So let's reminisce. And let's be nice about it, too. Like this part of the... Oh, yes. Yes, you're going to do it again. Oh, I'm so happy. It was great. I remember... I remember remembering watching this. And I was I was so excited to see the broom closet ending, right? Let's remember what what where, how did we get to here right now? It's a, it has I hold on. This part of the stream. I loved this part of the stream. This was awesome. Yeah. This was awesome. It, it was here yeah. it comes. Oh my word! <laughs> Lord, oh dude, you're not gonna believe what we're doing right now. It's crazy! This is so We were saying no, no, no skip button. I know, right? We didn't have any skip button to tabilize us. We didn't have any choice to work. All we had to do was sit here and wait. Dude, I remember remember the gondola from earlier? Where was 
it? Where is it going to? Where is it? Where is it? Hold on, hold on. Remember this? Remember? We had two, uh, two of them. It's crazy. Oh my god, dude. Nomer and Lala dog, thank you for the gondos. Oh, this one's just finishing up, hold on. Prejado, thank you for the 10. This was pretty good. This was pretty good. I don't even remember why I was mad, to be honest. Hold on, let me re let me remember. Let me remember. We were okay, 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 okay. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. We were watching this. Dude, Lala Dog, thank you for the five. Here it comes. Oh, he did that, and you didn't listen to me. That's right. That's right. Yes. This. Yeah. I remember this. I remember this. I remember. We were in the broom closet. When did we get mad at? This was awesome. This was Dude, awesome. We yeah, it's a, yeah I mean, that was pretty hard. We didn't have, we didn't have a, a tantalizing skip button. We didn't have anything. We had to make our own memories. We had to make That's our true. own story. It's kind of true. Look at this. This was, an, this was a really good stream. It was a really good stream. I really like the, the way they kind of... I mean, there, it was a little, you know, controversial, the decision oh. later on the end of the stream. Whoa, 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 whoa. The ticking clock and a skip button for, like, I don't know, like... What was, what would he spend, like, four Is this stream alive right now? Hold on. Oh, don't Hold on. There. What, 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 let me skip forward a little bit. Go, go ahead, talk, talk, talk. Why don't you? I remember in this part of the stream where I went to the bathroom, and then I went to the That's bathroom right. again. That's right. We were, okay, we did this at one point. The way they kind of... This, this right here. I'm so happy. I was so happy. Remember this? I do remember this. I do remember this. I do. Business as usual. Business as usual. It's a, it has. Hold on. This part of the stream. I loved this part. Of the I loved this part of the stream. Awesome. This was. This awesome. was awesome. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here we go. Yes! I'm not that excited. I just wanted to yell oh, at them. Oh, this is so... Oh, my God! This was in... Oh, God. Look, and then... This was awesome. This was it was... So I was so happy, and then... We were safe. I was even complimenting the bloom. I was even complimenting this part of the stream. Right? We, we didn't have any skip button to tantalize us. Yeah. We didn't have any choice to work. All we had to do was sit here and wait. Yeah. Right? That's All we had to saying. do was wait. This was a really good stream. It was a really it was. good stream. The, the way they kind of... I mean, there, it, it was a little okay. like, controversial See, like, decision later. Why would you say controversial, that? But I, I mean, I've grown to like it. Around in a room I loved it. And a skip button for, okay. Like, I don't know, like, like, come on, man. It's a little like, insulting. Four, five hours? It's, a, okay. it's insulting. It it's, it's, it's insulting. Come on. Grow up. Grow up. Hey, Trans Melody, thank you for the two months. We didn't even end the stream. Like, I'm just lying. Literally lying. Who does this guy think he is? Who does this guy think he is? Is he live? That's what I'm saying. He's live. Sitting here insulting me. 
insulting me. On my stream. It's on my, my stream. stream. On my stream, sitting here insulting me. I, I come here, 7.43 p.m. CSD. I stream for you. For us, for me, Socks B. Ags, I stream for you. Who do you think you are talking to me like that? Who do you think you are talking to me like that? Who do you think you are talking to me like that? What do you mean? Who do you think I are talking to me like that? Who do you think you are talking to me like that? Who do you think you are talking to me like that? Who do you mean? Who do I think I am talking to you like that? What do you mean? Who do I think I am talking to you like that? What do you mean? What do you mean? Who do I think I am talking to you like that? Come on, we don't, we don't. Come on, chill out with this. It's not funny. What do you mean? Who do I am talking to you like that? Come on, chill. We did the chill. Hey, stop. The stream is getting fucking ruined. Come on, chill. We did the chill. Hey, stop. Wait, wait, wait. I was just trying to sit here, do a broom closet. I was, I was thinking about the broom. We weren't even there anymore. We're never gonna go back there again. I was just thinking. Oh, it was so good. It was great. I loved the broom closet. We were sitting there. We were, we were doing the we anything. We were doing anything. And then we were talking about the button. And then you had the goal to talk about the button. Like it was a bad thing. Like the skip button was a good thing. The skip button's a terrible thing. It's terrible. We were just gonna sit here. I was able to play Clash Royale. I was able to attack Discord, and then someone got decided to complain. Oh, the streamers diving on their own stream. I get to do whatever I want. It's not. It's, it's not your stream. It is your stream, but it's my stream too. When we hit the share it together, okay? So we need to stop yelling. Stop the yelling. So, okay, we can calm down. 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 We think they're on the same level with me. Come on. Come on. Catch up. Catch up. Skip ahead. Skip ahead. There's no reasoning with this guy. All he does is he sits here, he sits in a broom closet, he he doesn't skip the thing, he doesn't see the new content. This game has like a fucking a millions of hours of new content. The first game to ever have trillions of hours of new And then the ball happens! And he's just insane! Like, and then he, why would you even have a loud stream alert? It's gonna wake people up, no one likes it, it's too loud, it scares the shit out of people. Every time it happens, it's, it's, uh, what the hell is the matter with you? Come on, man! And that was, and that was gonna loop it on itself because the streamer thought it would be funny to put their own stream on the stream. And so the stream is looping in on itself. So when the loud thing, the actual annoying thing that nobody likes comes on, it's gonna loop forever, it's gonna loop forever and ever and ever. And then we're not even playing the game anymore. You can't even see the game anymore. It's just a stupid idiot complaining about nothing, talking to themselves. Come on, man. This is it. This is just a, a, a offensive to the art of comedy. It's not even funny. It's not even comedy. It's just it's 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 boring. It's mundane. It's repetitive. It's boring. It's mundane. It's repetitive. Like why would you even? I can't even hear. I can't even hear what the stream is saying anymore. The, the music's so loud. Why would you have the music so fucking loud? Why would you have it so loud? Why do you have an alert that is there just to make the stream content worse? And then you have an alert of a cat screaming, and then it comes in in and out like gophers. Come on, man. Get it, get it together. Look, and then you think it's over, but it goes on for even longer. It just keeps going! And then you think it's over, but it goes on It just for keeps going forever and ever! It just keeps going! It just keeps going forever It's ridiculous! It's ridiculous! <sighs> like, at this point, there's not, it's not even worth arguing. Look and check this out. The gondol's over, but wait. It's not even over. The music's gonna keep playing. Yeah, I know that's what I'm saying. The music keeps going. The music's gonna keep playing. It keeps looping in on itself. We never get it, and then another one happens. And then you think it's over, and it's never over, and then it just keeps going forever. There's no limit. There's no cap. There's nothing that stops them from coming. They just keep coming. Why would you add this on your screen? It's ridiculous. It's it's insulting. I'm just gonna take it and go on. I'm just gonna take it and go. I'm not even gonna mute my microphone. You know? I mean, the stream's already terrible enough. I don't know what. The streamer takes a drink of water and you don't even mute their microphone. And then you can hear them drinking it and it's disgusting. It's terrible. What if someone has misophonia? 
You can't do that on a stream. You need to mute, be professional, to get your job. You pay your bills. You eat food with this. You have a roof over your head because of this. Be thankful. Show some gratitude for once in your life. And they, you know what? They can't, probably can't even fucking hear you. Because I can't hear you. You know that? No one can hear you. You can hear yourself, and that's all you do is you talk and you talk and you talk for six hours, seven hours. You can hear yourself, and that's all you do. It's all you do. You have to. Oh my god. And then stop complaining about streaming for. I, 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 you need to stop complaining. And you need to stop complaining. Stop complaining. Just stop talking. No. I'm not gonna stop talking. What do you mean you're not gonna stop talking? No. I'm not gonna stop talking. What do you mean you're not gonna stop talking? This is my job. Look at it. Look what you did to my. Look what you did to this. We can't even. We can't talk, we can't hear anything because the music just gets louder and louder. We can't talk, we can't hear anything because the music just gets louder and louder. It's insane! Look at it, it's gonna stop, and then when you think it's over, look at how many layers you have. Look at how many! And then when you think it's over, look at how many layers you have. Look at how many! It's unbelievable. This is unbelievable. I can't believe people want 114 people watching this? Two hours and 37 minutes of this? And you come here and you watch this? And then the streamer comes here and berates themselves and berates you on, on layers and layers of music that's so fucking loud and they sit here and they, and they ask you why you're watching this as if they have any right to judge the kind of content that you enjoy. And then they, they, they preach about themselves and themselves like anybody wants to fucking hear it. Sophie Baby's left. And it's like, come on! And then they have a stream alert on their own fucking stream even though it's their friend. Like, why would you do that? Why would you have that? Close it! Crop the thing or put it on something! And then Lala Dog comes in. Close it! Crop the thing or put it on something! And then Lala Dog Come on, man! It's ridiculous. It's unbelievable. It's ridiculous. It's unbelievable. And then Jonathan comes in and look how many times Jonathan's gonna come out. It's unbelievable. It's stupid. And then Jonathan comes in and look how many times Jonathan's gonna come out. It's stupid. And then they, they look and the fucked up thing is they don't even have a thing on their alert to stop the alerts from going in. So someone could just donate E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E
I'm doing okay. How are you doing? That's good to hear. You saw the new Owl House? Yeah, I, I really did see good. the new Owl House. I talked about it in the pre stream. I mean, I haven't had a new episode in forever. I know, it was good. I'm excited for the new episode. I mean, I haven't had a new episode in forever. I know. I mean, still, it's good to talk about it. I mean, I haven't had a new episode in forever. They're going to air a new one on Saturday. It's good to talk about it. It is good to talk about it. Yeah, exactly. They're going to air a new one on Saturday. It's good to talk about it. It is good to talk about it. No way. Exactly. They're going to air a new one on Saturday. It's good to talk about it. It is good to talk about it. No way. Exactly. They're going to air a new one on Saturday. And the conversation happens forever and it's gone. And the conversation happens forever and it's gone. I know. And the conversation happens forever and it's gone. I know. Yeah, I just said that. I know. See, it's yeah, I just said that. I, I, yeah, I, I, I just said that. Yeah, I just said that. I, yeah, I, I, I just said that. You copy me? I, yeah, I, I just said that. You copy me? Are you copy? You copying me when I said you copying me? Are you serious? Are you it was quiet. We were you relaxed. When I said you copying me? No, I didn't. You we, you're copying me. I'm not copying you. You're copying me. Relax. No, I didn't. Don't tell me to relax. I'm not copying you. You're copying me. You're copying me. I'm not copying you. You're copying me. Come on, man. We were so. It was fine. Start up. Shut up. Talk about copying. We're over that part. We were so. It was fine. Start up. Shut up. Talk about copying. I'm done. Dead. I'm not talking to you anymore. I'm done. I'm not talking to you anymore. I'm not talking to you anymore. I'm, done. I'm not talking to you anymore. 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 How did we even get here, man? <laughs> How did we even get here? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> this is not even funny. Oh, God. This is not even funny. Oh, it's not. It's really. It's not. It's not. It's really. Dude, okay. What would happen if I just like screamed into the microphone right now? Dude, okay. What would happen if I just like, screamed into the microphone right now? Dude, okay. What would happen if I just like, screamed into the microphone right now? Dude, okay. what happen if I just, like, screamed into the microphone right now? It's like a... It's like a bird! It's like a... It's like a bird! 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 This streamer sucks, man. Put the damn game on. <laughs> so here we are. It's just you and me again, chat. No one but you and me in the present, in the now. Just us. No door, just a clock, and a button. We've been doing this bit for what? An hour? How many times we do bits on this channel that are centered around not pressing buttons? This is two for two. So what if we pressed it? I think it's, you know what, Chad? I think, I think you've earned it. I've earned it. I think we've all earned it. 
Mario Party, and thank you for the eight. Vod watch Vod watchers who skipped ahead, you did miss out. It's okay, we're, we're about to hit the skip button. Hey, Mario Party 8, thank you for the 22. What the hell? Mario underscore party underscore donated $22. 156, 157, 164, 151, 151, 156, 146. Thank you, Mario Party 8, for the, the scary. <laughs> What a good, what a good stream this has been. You know, two and a half hours. We didn't even get to see any new content. We got to say some. We got to see a jump, and a button, and a skip button, which we've we've eluded for so long. It's been, it's tantalizing. We made a promise not to press it. We were just sitting here waiting for the door, but you know, I think we're our own person. We're independent. Well, me and you and every single one of you is independent of your own choices. I'm independent of my own. Um. But really, am I independent? Because really, I'm bound to the choices I make in the past. Once I've made a choice, I have no more choice in it. It's already been made. So how, how free are we truly? Not to get philosophical on you. We're really just talking about a skip button here. It's not that big a deal, a button that skips ahead, skips forward. VOD watchers, go ahead and rewind one minute. That'll get them. This is a live only stream now, chat. They're gonna watch it. They're gonna get to that part. They're gonna rewind forever. And ever and ever it's just us me and you chat made it a little more uh, you know private quiet made it a little more special for the special occasion of uh, finally pressing the skip button but before we do that it's been a wonderful stream two hours 47 minutes 44 seconds how did we get here We're in the memory zone after all. We've sat here. We've been waiting for how long? But it's it's been a little bit since we've really talked about how we truly got here. You know, the journey. The steps we've made. The places we've been. The fights we've fought. How do we remember? Remember how we got here? Remember the blue, the broom do do closet chat? Like okay, we should. I didn't like this part that's coming up, but remember it? Or do you remember this? Remember this? I remember the Clash Royale. Did I get overboard? Clown? Thank you, Clown. Those are not real-time Jonathan's, by the way. Remember this? Did I win? Who knows? But remember, while we're skipping, while we're on the theme of skipping ahead, why don't we skip ahead? Hmm? Remember when we remembered the broom closet? <laughs> this was the beginning of something horrible. Remember this? We made it full screen. And remember this? We were remembering sitting in the button room. Or remembering when we remembered the stream. And then we went back to the beginning of stream. And then we did it again. And then we had gondols. Remember all this? You want to skip so bad? Why don't we skip to the end? We don't need a game to dictate how far ahead we skip. Why do we even want to see the rest of the game? Why don't we just, you know, we can skip this day, skip this stream. Maybe we skip every stream. But we don't want that. We want to see the stream. We want to see the stream play out. It's why you're here. It's why you're watching it live. No matter how 
tedious or repetitive or unfunny it gets, it just keeps going and it never ends and it never ends. Never ever. But maybe one day it ends. Maybe one day it ends and you can skip ahead. Now, thankfully, I, I made measures to get rid of the VOD viewers from this point forward. Unless they were muted or they don't know how to follow directions. They shouldn't be watching the stream at this point. It's just you and me, chat. And in life, you don't get a skip button. So what have we done to deserve pressing this? What have we done? We waited patiently. What else did we do? And we remembered. We remembered a lot of things. How did we get here though? And this is the barter stream where I say that again. And then you're thinking, oh no, he's gonna do it again. The streamer's gonna do it again. They're gonna replay the stream and it's never gonna end and it's gonna loop in on itself. And then we're just gonna be streaming a stream. Who would do that? Wait. Did you hear that? Cream of mushroom, thank you for the three. Listen, listen, listen. No, not the fan. Do you hear that? There's like a, a, a handsaw. It's sawing wood. Listen. Do you hear it? Is it the fan? Oh my God, it's the fan. If all we want is the door, then why don't we skip to when we get the door? If all we want is a door, then why don't we skip to the door? Maybe I'm scared. Maybe it's the broom closet again. Maybe there's a, a repetition in this stream. Waiting. Hiding. From what could be next. We've gone so long with no content. We've been repeating our own content. We have nothing left to stream. We have nothing left to show. Like, oh, there's a, oh, there's a plant. I didn't I didn't comment the plant earlier. Or, oh, look at this, this ladder. Maybe we can climb the ladder. You can't, by the way. Or the chair, the wooden pallet. Okay, what else is in the room? We could count every single brick on the wall. But then what? Maybe when the, when the, when we're done counting the bricks. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's this point that you're wondering, oh my God, is he really gonna do it? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, and then you're thinking, oh my God, he's a, he's, he's really doing it. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And then he just stops. You think, oh my God, are we free? Did he finally get bored of his own stupid jokes that no one finds funny? 24, 25, 26, and you're oh, for the love of law, please let it end. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, 
32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. And we get the 40. And you think, oh my god, is he really going to do it? Is he really going to do it? Is he going to hit the button? And then he inches forward. And then they say, well, I don't know how many bricks are on the wall. Well, maybe if I just finish counting this wall, then we can reasonably infer that the amount of bricks is that number times four. And so they, they go to the corner again. But then, but then she stops counting. And she looks at the skip button. And it's at this point that she realized this is not funny anymore. And it's this point that they realize it's not funny at all. It's tedious, it's mundane, it's repetitive. And then they go back to the corner. And they realize, I lost count. I think I was at 40 something? And I think, and I think, and they start talking in third person, and I start thinking to myself, I didn't notice this paint bucket before, or this fence, or this pipe, or that alarm. And that's it. And the contents dried up. We commented on the ladder. The pallet, the chair, the pipes, the fan. I suppose we haven't talked about the pipes connecting to the fan, but now we have. The alarm, the fence, the bucket, the plant, the clock. There's only one thing left. And we haven't explored. We explored everything there is about the plant. I mean, I suppose there's some... We could maybe try to... Uh, ca maybe calculate the amount of dirt in there. By ounces, by flex. We could notice that the clock has been counting in real time and has been changing time. Or the fences. We could see if the fan's trying to talk to us in Morse code. Or... The rust on the on the paint bucket. Maybe maybe there's something more to it. But there's not. There never has been. It's just a button. We could click on the plant. Nothing. Click on this, nothing. We could sit here all day if we truly wanted to. And maybe it'll be scary. But maybe it'll be awesome. And maybe it won't be. But there's only one way to find out. But before we do that... And I think about it. And I accept... That I don't want to count any more bricks. And I take a deep breath. And I think, oh my god, my Clash Royale game, 
Oh, do I want to remember you? And then I go forward? And I can't do it. It's just like the door. It's just like the broom closet. We could, ne we, we could never leave. Even when we left, we didn't want to leave. We just went back. And we went back. And we went back and forth. And we went back and forth. And we never, we never did it. Just go. Literally just go. No, I don't want to. What if we click the button and it's not perfect enough? What if I click it wrong? Uh, stop talking to me. It doesn't matter how you click it. Just press the button. Stanley, 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 please don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times. And there's no door, Stanley. There's no door. There's just you and the button. And if you keep pressing it, I have no idea what will happen. I have no idea how long I'll be made to sit here. And more than anything else, I don't know how to stop you from pressing the button again. I can't control anything in this room, Stanley. I can't touch it. And I have to believe, I have to know that sooner or later, no matter how much I plead with you, you're going to press the button again. Why would you? I've been thinking and thinking, and I, I don't know what I can do to convince you otherwise. Oh, my God. And it's all because of those reviews. Those reviews that I couldn't get out of my head. I just couldn't ignore the negative feedback. Why was it so important for me to Why fix was it the, so problem? To the problem? Why did Cookie Nine's opinion matter so much to me? I've never even met Cookie Nine. I have no idea You don't need to know, are. man. What would it ever hey, really I've been matter? here. I've been through it. I know what it's like to think about what other people say about you. And even what you think about saying about you. that anyone ever says about me. I the know. The merest mention of one of my imperfections, and I become as impetulant as a child, wild and impulsive. You just I can't need to think about myself. yourself. I can't stop myself from lashing out with a vengeful fury to alter and to change and to break anything unbroken. If only it pleases this one person who made a single negative comment. What does such an impulse serve? For whose benefit is this? And here I am now, stuck in a room, waiting for you to press this button and to become frozen in time, knowing that you're going to do it and that I'm going to be stuck all alone and that I had the power to prevent it all from happening if only I'd held my tongue. It's all out of my control now. Just you, just your decision as to exactly when you're going to make me suffer, to leave me all alone. Surely you will. I don't doubt it. Not about you. Surely you'll press that button again, <clears throat> leaving me here. And surely you'll put your own desire to see what's next ahead of my need for company, for companionship. Surely you'll not be moved by my howls of fitful anxiety that you sit with me and just stay here. Oh, no, 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 I know you too well. You'll be leaving me again. Oh, my God. And it's all because of those reviews. Those reviews that I couldn't get out of my head. I just couldn't ignore the negative feedback. Why was it so important for me to Jesus. fix the problem? Why did Cookie Nine's opinion matter so much to me? I've never even met Cookie All Nine. Is I have no idea dog. who they are. What would it ever really matter? But here I am. I'm fixating on every tiny negative thing that anyone ever says about me. The merest mention of one of my imperfections, and I become as impetulant as a child, wild okay, and impulsive. Okay, man. Look, I'm the one myself. who does the annoying one I can't one stop day myself from lashing out with a vengeful a series of talking that just repeats it on itself, okay? You can, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm, I'm over it. Oh, I'm Stanley, over it. What back. the hell? You're back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone oh to talk to again. Stanley, I, the I think it's been a week. Or two weeks. The light? I've been sitting here all it? that time. Just sitting here. Not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking, 
and you say this nothing. is scary would you this is actually it's exactly fun. the same as always doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing me just talking but it isn't Stanley it isn't the same at all it isn't even close because I know you can't hear me once you push that button. That's what I'm realizing now, Stanley. I'm realizing that I needed to know that someone was listening. I needed there to be a vessel through which my words were moving. It was the vessel I needed, Stanley. Not the outcomes, not the story. None of that matters anymore. I'll give it all up. I'll give up every branching path. I'll burn my story to the ground. One single Jesus. thing I need, and God, I can see now that I need it more than anything, is to know that someone else is taking it in. These words that I'm saying, I need to know you can hear me. Because maybe, Stanley, maybe if you can hear me, then maybe it means I'm real. Maybe I'm not just a fiction. Was I scared of that all along? Perhaps, yes. Perhaps I've been scared this whole time that if I stop speaking, I'll slip backwards into the silence. And it doesn't matter if you're a fiction. I can't be taken by it, Stanley. If what you say is heard by people and it matters to people, then you're as real as anything. When you press that button, you're still right there. But I know you're so tremendously far away. And in those moments, the emptiness folds itself outward in between the two of us. And I am suspended in its unyielding quietness. I can feel the edges of my reality curdling inward and decaying. Oh, I can tell that I am becoming less and less real. Yet to speak to you now, I am alive. I am truly and completely here. I am a being. Okay, I am master. someone. I am something. I am being listened to. I am being recognized. The emptiness between us has collapsed, and I feel right now like I am not a work of fiction. I feel as though I occupy space in this world again, and I have <gasps> cast a shadow onto the wall. You see what I'm saying, don't you? You can see what this means to me. I'm so clear about it now, Stanley. I feel as certain about this as I've ever felt about anything at all. I feel renewed. I feel restored. And already I can sense the looming silence as you will press the button for the next time. What a terrible dread it strokes in my heart to think of it. To think of returning to such coldness. Come, let us sit in silence together here for just a moment. Yeah, let's let just sit in silence. It. Let us welcome it. Exactly. Let us not run from it. Don't, we don't need to hide or run away. We can just press the button. I, oh my god, I can't see anything. Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down what? in one place and not moved for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing at all but regret for the it's longest like the fucking time, SCP. Stanley. Days, months. I lost it all in a blur of the deepest longing to undo the past. And when that feeling had begun to subside, what took its place is what I can only describe as the collapse of every moment I have ever experienced my entire life. All of them collapsed down into a single instant. In that instant, I could see myself clearly, calmly, with a collected heart. It was an impossibly rich wellspring of both delight and disgust. Simultaneously, I was consumed by it. I could do nothing but wallow in it for what felt like an eternity, for what I now know was far less. You see, it was a revelation for me. It was unlike anything I had ever known. It was a space without consequence, without action or outcome. It was divorced entirely from the question of free will that you and I have squabbled over for so long. <laughs> there could be no one ending, no singular outcome. Jeez, event, hey, all you do is talk and talk and talk. In the same I'm the streamer here. Come on, man. Freed. I felt unburdened by the need to manifest a particular Dude, Damien brought me sushi. Being. During I that whole that moment where I was like doing fucking nothing, Damien brought me sushi. And the like homemade sushi. Was simply a strand it looks good in the yeah. web of my being. It was incredible. The spaciousness, the equanimity oh my God, of the moment, perfect. both singular and infinite. For the longest time, this was my experience. Whoa! And then this moment passed. 
and the most unyielding fear I have ever known crept into my mind. And it is this sensation that I have been experiencing oh now my God, for longer than I, I did not could expect have that ever to be so spicy. It's really possible. good, though. I have been waiting for you. Not that you might save me or do something to fix it, but merely to state for you the plain fact of this manner of existence. I wish you to feel afraid as I do. That perhaps one day this state of mind will consume you as well. Oh, buddy, it perhaps did. I mean, I know it took you a year. In some way, have to live I've, as I've, I do I've now. Been it. And I wish for you to know it's a bit, how it's excruciating over. it is, it up, and for you to be in true terror of its eventual arrival. If I can only do this, only this one <laughs> thing, <laughs> perhaps it will bring me the smallest moment of peace yep, in I the know. darkness. All right, well, look, we got new content to see, so uh, let's just uh, maybe we press the button. Oh, Jesus. It's the same. Hello? Uh. What the hell was that? What is that? Hey, bud. I just heard a weird noise. Hey, are you like... Hey, dude, like, okay, maybe he's gone. Hey, I'm gonna, uh, I don't know how long it's been. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna press the button, okay? And we'll just, uh... Oh my, the alarm! Oh God, Jesus! All right, man. Hey, I'm not. I'm not sitting in this room with that. No. But they didn't understand. The game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a oh. point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the oh, jokes? Do I where know are that? The jokes they be Don't I know that? They gnashed their teeth and said, "Entertain us." It wasn't enough. They had to leave a did pathetic little I thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then he's talking too much. They said, <laughs> first he didn't entertain us. He's now he won't me. shut up. It's the inconsistency. It's the lack of accountability. It's the unwillingness to examine with an uncompromising heart the words that they are speaking into the world as though there were no consequences for a lack of cohesion in one's assessment of others but of course absolutely anyone can leave a review so here's what we get we get these demands that seek everything and are accountable to nothing we get a world where someone will say oh there should be a skip button you should be able to freeze stanley in place while the narrator sits there forever and ever we want all of this in the new stanley parable we demand it and then, because it was said, because it was spoken, now it simply has to happen. The most immediate desires, every single thing demanded by every person at every moment in time. If someone wants it, then it's a crime not to bring it into being. <laughs> Have we been given to indulging every fleeting whim for no reason other than to do so? Yes! Yes, it seems that this is now the world we live in. It seems that we are a people living in such bleakness and discomfort with ourselves that our entertainment is now our lives. It has come to represent us. It absolutely must speak to who we are as people, because otherwise, without our entertainment, we have nothing. Without entertainment, we would have to face inward toward the cruel bleakness inside ourselves. He doesn't even know we I'm here. turn to look at our deeper nature and find a resounding emptiness gazing back I get with it, unyielding man. aggression. And so, so because of this, we require that our amusements and our playthings and our flights of fancy be so impossibly captivating that they consume no. all of our attention, turn our heads completely away from the bleakness. In effect, we have demanded Jesus, that our entertainment man. be the collapse of ourselves. Oh, look! What a pitiful reflection of humanity these entertainments are. What a shameful mirror to the human spirit they project. Unlike I'm the stream mad. that we're, you're I'm watching right now where it was live and you had to deal with this, the calm center of we have a skip button. Around which these Come on, man. Hurl themselves. I am a waypoint for reasonable and collected discourse. They're the ones who are mad. I can't press it anymore. Oh. Oh, uh, maybe I should have just let him keep talking. Oh, Jesus.
Hey, dude. Oh, God. How long has it been? 10 years? 20 years? More? Hey, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna hit it again, okay? The end is never 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 the end Okay man uh this is weird is never the end 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 I'm just gonna hit the button again and then it's What the hell Oh my god there's rain! Are the pipes leaking? Yeah, the pipes are leaking, huh? Are we underwater? Hello? Dude? Come on, man. This isn't funny anymore. Can you hear me? All right. Maybe just one more time, and it's it'll be fine, and we'll go back, and then there'll be a... Okay. Um... Alright! Seems fine. Um... Okay. There's a clock. Um... Hey, dude! There's no door. Maybe I'll just... Yeah, just one more time. Oh my god, it's heaven. The sky! I can see the sky! And there's pipes! Well, if I press it one more time, then it must be... I could get out of here! Oh! <gasps> Maybe there's birds. There's life here. How long have we waited? Maybe if we just go one more time, we can see how this ends. This one. Oh my god, the fences are gone. Um. Yeah, uh, let's go. Bye. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is worse. No, this is definitely worse. I just hit it. Oh. <gasps> Is it real? Oh my god, it's so bright. I like actually just put my hand up the book. Whoa. Oh my god, we're back here. Dude, the way I looked back and then it went to black, that was that was cinematic. That was that was it's over. Guys, it's fucking over.
That was like a, that, you just unlocked like a, that was a Stanley Parable ending that I unlocked and you just unlocked like a stream ending. All right, well, I'm gonna take a drink of water and then we're gonna keep going. <laughs> that was only our third ending. That was number three, right? That was three. That was three. <laughs> and we've only been going for three hours. All oh, his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the, oh, the Pixar land. Perhaps he had simply. It feels decided. wrong to be here right now. I feel, I feel like I, I I don't belong here. I've been cast away from society for so long. How am I supposed to? How am I supposed to do this? Are you, we, what do we do? We the, the, the computers, and then wasn't there like an input received here before? Hold on. One of these. Wait. What? No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Can we go again? Stanley went around touching every <coughs> little thing in the office. Okay, it man. It didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story. Did you plan that or did it just happen? No, that just happened. I, the music stopped and I was like, whoa. And I looked back and then... I, I do gotta say, none of that was planned. <laughs> no, no, no. That was all. That just kind of happened. No. Welcome to the welcome welcome to the stream, everybody. <laughs> was that would you say that was better or worse than the Delta Rune cars? <laughs> I mean, I think it's scary that both involved not pressing a button. It was different, fair enough. The Delta Rune cars, um, Delta Rune has a section in the city where you have to press buttons to not, to stop traffic so you can go forward. And I explicitly did it. I spent like two and a half hours doing it without pushing the buttons, trying to beat it. And it was so fucking hard. Yeah. There's a, I, I, I streamed Delta Rune chapter two for like 12 hours. Well, I, I can't do the input received computer, so I guess we're just going to keep it on. Whoa! New, new content! Can we unplug this? I guess not. Dude, no way! Oh, good. You noticed my sign. Yes, I did. I have something very exciting to show you. I, I love you, man. I'm so, I'm so happy to see you again. I gotta be so honest. Let me turn the audio back up. <laughs> hey, how's this for audio? We'll find out when he starts talking. Too loud? Perfect. Perfect. Sorry, I abandoned you for three billion years. Yeah. No. Whoa! Oh, new content. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley parable and Have about you been? how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. Eh. The original Stanley was fine. was a landmark, and any new content for it, it was fine, man. To that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why what? I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever. What's happening? The Stanley Parable 2. What? <laughs> Holy shit, are you kidding me? Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of Actually, all the new territory we'll cover with a fully fledged sequel. An entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities? It could go in so many different directions. This is what <laughs> fans have truly been asking for. <laughs> it's a, it's a, I already got out enough content at this point. Hey, Len. Hey, thank you for the 16 months. Dude, we can finally move forward. We can see what's new. What's new? Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. 
It's future-oriented. It screams what? progress and innovation and long-term franchising. The paintings are just screens. What is this? Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. New mug. Part one. <clears throat> what did he say? Dude, this is sick. Look at this. Whoa. It's like a game development office. I've had two doors. Oh my god. I like the the Babus font. The Babus font too. The brain. This is sick, dude. There's two of them? Is it multiplayer? Dude, can I invite someone to, to stream? Now to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down the what exactly line. the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. Thanks for Teddy, I figure meaning. that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting <laughs> concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up yeah. around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. What's with the red marker? What the? Crab, the ultimate sequel. Testing two printers at the same time. Sequels are good. Portal 2, Half-Life 2, Arkham Asylum 2, Divinity Original Sin 2, Doom 2, Aladdin 2, Return of Javar, Dark Souls 2. Hey, I, this one was kind of bad, don't, don't people say? I don't know, I guess I haven't played it. <laughs> Aladdin 2. The prequel to the Stanley Parable 2 is the sequel to the Stanley Parable is the prequel to the Stanley Parable 2 is the sequel to the Stanley Parable. I see. I haven't played Dark Souls, though. Every pause button is a Roman numeral 2. You are the sequel. Oh, my God. I made the whole Stanley Parable this way to the show floor. Dude, I'm a valued investor. I guess I'm a valued player. New features! A boss to new content world? No way. Expo Hall 2? Whoa, look at that! Wait, this is actually kind of cool looking. Holy shit. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Uh, merch? Can you actually buy this shit in real life? You definitely can. Okay, this shirt actually looks cool. <laughs> that's a shirt I would wear. That's a, that's also a shirt I would wear. <laughs> Office decorations, the Stanley Parable reassurance bucket. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the... What? Hear your name in the game? Actually? Hear yours today. Exclusive, the button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. <gasps> no, For dude. the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized I do. and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Jim. Sorry, That's not my name. I should have clarified. Right now, the button <laughs> only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience. Oh, okay, I'll, of be this I'll, be, I'll be Jim. I'll be I'll be Jim. I'll be Jim. I promise you'll love it. Okay. Is there a way to share art for the stream? Uh, the, uh, the fan art channel in the Discord. Your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. Dude, I want you to imagine what yourself the fuck? living as Jim. You know what's freaky? Sleeping and waking as Jim. In the pre-stream when I was having technical difficulties, I was deleting shit and I found a folder called like Jim's underscore Jim. stuff. And I was like, what the fuck? Watching your dreams crumble into <laughs> and I'm not joking and I'll show it to you. But it, you it's apparently just like the install Jim folder right for a, a program I use it's called Snaz. Then please step forward for stream. Button. 
Uh, and I guess the guy who made it is called Jim. But it was there's literally a thing in my program files called Jim's underscore stuff. Jim. <laughs> yes, you will yeah. see. What a thrill! What a rush! That was you. The button. Imagine if your name you. is Jim. Do it again. Do it again. Okay, I'll do it again. Jim. Ooh. It hits even harder the second time. If it this does. were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth. It would be money. worth 25 bucks. Let's take a break from the Jim button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. I want to press it again. Jim. Whoa there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much, Jim. I'm putting the Jim button away. Jim. Otherwise, Jim. soon you'll start to lose Stop. all sense of Jim. who you actually Jim. are. Jim. 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 No. You mother... <sighs> Whatever. Let's go. <laughs> Jim. <clears throat> Dude, I got a little froggy in my throat. I actually, I need to take a drink of water because I do have a little frog in my throat right now. <clears throat> okay, now it's like eerily quiet. Come on, let's go. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable too. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. A whole new office. That's pretty cool. Red is the new orange. That's pretty cool. Uh-oh. The baby's all grown up. The new updated Ray Traced more of the same, but in a good way sequel to the... Consistent quality with just the right amount of change. New features, new content, new ideas. Dude, me literally right click saving. <clears throat> this is sick. The Stanley Parable 2. What's in here? Office decorations and infinite hole. I want to see the bucket. Hold on. Dude. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. That it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless <laughs> despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after Arca. much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley <gasps> Parable Reassurance oh Bucket. You see, Stanley, anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold onto the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance Can I have it? while the bucket is in your arms. Can I touch it? To be honest. It's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? <laughs> yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. <gasps> <laughs> what? Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even <sighs> in the face of crushing despair, must already <sighs> be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of confidence? Yeah, it does. Well? I, think I feel a lot more confident in myself. Has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. That's true. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? They do. All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. I can't wait to see it. Do I get the whole? <gasps> I get to just keep the bucket? No, dude, this is awesome. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable a bucket in a video game? That really should what does this be an take award me to? if it isn't already. Hold on. Dude, hold on. Hold on. Where does this go? Do I have a... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. 
It's re is it literally just actually merchandise? Hold on, I'm trying to find my fucking... There we go. Dude, I want to take a picture of this. StanleyParable2.com Welcome to the official website of the Stanley Parable 2. Wow. That's so cool. There's like a whole website. I was I was kind of expecting it to just be like, oh, website not up yet. There's actually a whole website there. Four block is a two block border for your QR code, but thank you for following the standard. There's a video on the site. Hold on. Let me see if I can get it up. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Wait, when I go to it, it just redirects me to some Twitter page. What the fuck? I can't put in the StanleyParable2.com. It's it's literally not working. What? I can't put it in on my computer, only on my phone. What the hell? Oh, StanleyParable2.com. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, hold on. Stream safe? We're good. Dude, look at this. There's a whole website here. Do more of a prequel person check out the Stanley Parable? See there, Timmy. What's that you're enjoying? Why? It's breakfast, of course. Everyone loves breakfast. But did you know that breakfast is getting a sequel? That's right. <laughs> it's called lunch. And critics are raving that lunch will be everything breakfast was and more. With a little luck, we may even get a trilogy series out of it. Say, That's you true. know what a sequel is, don't you, Timmy? Why, sequels are the world's way of clinging helplessly to the past. We all want more of the things we love, and we're all afraid I of do. change, which is what makes sequels so I'm popular. very afraid of change. New ideas are dangerous, Timmy, and they can lead to early aging. This eager-minded young thinker is just 29 years old. That's why we have sequels, to keep us couched in the familiar and the comfortable. Sequels are the bedrock of a healthy, functional society. And if you look around you, you'll find them everywhere you go. For instance, this man is developing a sequel to the automobile, which we'll call the vertical automobile. <laughs> it's a useless, impractical invention. And in two days' time, the man will be publicly stoned to death for his crimes against Jesus. gravity. Not all sequels are heretical nonsense, however. Here's the man who invented breathing, which is the sequel to suffocating and dying a slow death. Even your parents are getting a sequel, Timmy. Their names are Rob and Jessica, and they'll be taking what? care of you once your original parents are sent back in time to fight a secret war for the government. Sequels can be very fashionable. Oh, not the thigh this trial. young woman is wearing five shirts at once, which is the sequel to wearing four shirts at once. Look at Becky over there, wearing only so two shirts at once. Get with the times, Becky. In fact, there is only one single thing in the world that isn't a sequel. It's this. We don't know what it is or why it exists, but it's the prequel from which all sequels are derived. Wow. And just like everything else, the Stanley Parable is getting a sequel, sequel to Socks BX. We You'll find all out know, of course, that it was your favorite game as a child. Don't you remember those long, lazy afternoons you spent playing the Stanley Parable? Watching your precious youth fritter away hour after hour. We've all wasted our childhoods in one way or another, and you were fortunate enough to get to waste yours on the Stanley Parable. I did! But the I'm Stanley Parable very fortunate came out years to be playing ago, this and you're right not now. a child anymore. You're a man, which is like the sequel to a child. And as a man, you want manly things like taxes and cheating at baseball. You need a man's video game, Timmy. 
And that's why the Stanley Parable 2 will be perfect for you. It's as manly as video games can get. And if you don't believe me, let's look at the burly hunk of a man who's responsible for the game. Huh, here he is, hard at work. His name is Gregory Eightpack, and he's the cutting picture of raw, virile masculinity. Nipples on stream? Gregory is what we call the ideas guy, and he has the most important role on the team. The ideas guy tirelessly comes up with interesting concepts and then hands them off to the rest of the ideas. developers for the relatively simple job of turning those concepts into reality. For example, he's wow. the one who picked up the phone and declared, Someone ought to make a sequel to the Stanley Parable. Good Dude, work, he's the one who did that? Go ahead and take the rest of the day off. With the hard part out of the way, work on the game can now begin. The game's developers must answer a simple question. What makes a sequel in the first place? Well, it's simple. Sequels are an opportunity to correct the mistakes of their wow. predecessors. We've all made mistakes, and yeah. we've all caused harm to someone we love in order to cover up our mistakes. That's true. That's when true. developing this particular sequel, it's We've important all spent to start by thinking, our own what stream mistakes on stream. did the original Stanley Parable make? Well, first off, most of the pornography in the original game was stolen what? or pirated, and it's time we paid the licensing fees fair and Is square. It safe? Second, the Stanley Parable was catastrophic for this man named Leroy, whose personal information, including home address, social security number, and what? bank information, were all displayed prominently in multiple locations throughout the game. Although Leroy's <laughs> money yeah, I mean, and identity I mean, I were stolen, the fact remains that his personal information was the emotional core of the game, and absolutely vital to a nuanced understanding of the story. As reparation for the harm we caused him, the sequel will contain a brief and insincere apology to Leroy tucked deep within the game where it will be difficult to find. Finally, the Stanley Parable made the mistake of leaking too many government secrets about the nature of the time wars. Without these intricate uh, details yeah. of specific military tactics, the story is likely to make very little sense. But we've decided to remove them from the sequel in the interest of helping the state's efforts. We'll get to you yet, Time Dracula. Now then, it's time to set about constructing the Stanley Parable 2. Game development is a Dude, difficult and complex it. art, one which can only be fully understood by this race of hyper-intelligent child soldiers bred in laboratories. They begin by studying the original Stanley Parable. Here it is in its raw, untouched form, a specimen of technological perfection. Mm. Time to exploit it for profit. We begin by adding jokes. The Stanley Parable was I most widely jokes. known for its stark lack of humor, bucking all conventional that. industry wisdom. It was a bold artist statement that its developers stood firmly behind. But in 2022, it's impossible to reach even a single consumer of video games without jokes of some kind. So very well, jokes yeah. it'll be. During its development, over 500 kiloliters of comedy will be funneled directly into the core of the Stanley Parable 2, creating jobs for hundreds of machine sick. operators and producing 30,000 tons of pollutant chemical byproduct, which will be pumped directly into local lakes, rivers, and beautiful nature reserves like these all over the country. Another common complaint of the Stanley Parable is that there wasn't enough gameplay. And so for the sequel, its developers have gone to great lengths to fix this problem. Really? Here you can see gameplay being printed on the sheets. Oh Every my god! Video game I contains as many as a thousand sheets of gameplay. And several of the largest games ever made contain close to 1,500. On mobile devices, the gameplay sheets have to be printed smaller. For the Stanley Parable 2, as many as 35 new gameplay sheets are being printed, each of which must be delicately massaged by the hands of a child we big for before being added into the game. This man is stealing gameplay sheets from the factory, which he likely intends to use for a personal project he's been developing in his spare time. <laughs> a good public stoning will cure him of that inclination. <laughs> Let's Get check on Gregory real quick. Ha! Still recovering from a hard day's work. Don't you move a muscle. Next up, it's time to blackmail the press. In a competitive this market, is, I find blackmailing being your local journalist can be one of the most effective methods of creating word of mouth buzz. That's true. Your sequel. That's In true. Fact, I know it well. The currency of social progress. From your neighborhood grocer to the teacher at your school to the man yeah. who helps you steal HBO, everyone responds true. to blackmail. 
And if you've never done it before, it's easy to practice at home on your friends and family. Simply follow the instructional pamphlet that your teacher hands out after the end of the film. And finally, there's one last tool at our disposal for making the sequel feel fresh and exciting. And that's ah. packaging the game with collector's edition merchandise. Really? If you order the Stanley Parable 2, you'll receive this cow's egg. A single egg will produce over a thousand cows, which are, really? of course, the sequel to pigs. And there you have it. Everything there oh, is to dude, know about producing egg. the Stanley Parable 2. Of course, you may know that there is also a game titled that. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. So which game is the true sequel to The Stanley Parable? It's an excellent question, Billy. One which the child soldiers have been working round the clock to come up with an answer to. And after many weeks of diligent research, the conclusion they've reached is... Who gives a shit? All that matters <laughs> is that it's more content for you to cram down your insatiable you know? gullet. You don't want He's right, you know. and nuanced answers to complex questions, Billy. You just want to eat bubble gum and cheat at hopscotch. So get out there I and did, consume. Do your civic duty and bully your parents into buying you every version of the Stanley Parable 2 on every platform. Tell your friends to bully their parents as well. It's through community efforts like these that the world comes together in harmony and connection. And it's only through this connection that we'll defeat Time Dracula once and for all. Don't let the time-traveling vampires win. Buy the Stanley Parable 2 and buy pledge that. to support all sequels. For today, tomorrow, and into the great unknowable beyond. Oh, Billy. Do Northern Lion? Wait, there's a whole video link. <laughs> I, <can't>. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I was going to open a new tab. <laughs> it scared me. <laughs> All right. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, what, okay, what's in this one? What's over here? We got the jump, the jump circle and the infinite hole. Oh, let me check out this room first. Office decorations and the infinite hole. Okay, I'll be honest. I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new oh. version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. Oh. But I'm undecided on get well someday and happy 12th birthday. God, this one looks what cool. What would you go with? I like this one. It's blue. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Get well someday, <laughs> it's you. What the fuck? All right, I mean, I guess this one's fine. Okay, well. That's fine, man. I mean, I, I kind of like the blue, but. Or actually, maybe what? I should have gone with, no. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. No, well, 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 well. Come now. You've already made your choice. It's true that you chose badly, but we all have to move on from our mistakes. What the? I mean, come on. We could... We could do the blue balloon. We could do the... We could do the blue balloon. Okay, well. If you're... I mean, if you're sure, it's not that big of a deal, but... Yeah. You sure? You don't want to do the the blue balloon? I guess not. Wait, the balloons are on the painting legit now. What the hell? Happy to see we're not in the skip room anymore. We'll go back. We'll run it back. <laughs> the jump circle. Oh my god, I... You know what, Stanley? I actually think the jump oh, circle totally was a pretty broke. good idea. I'd like no. to hang on to that for the sequel. My jumps! Okay, um... Alright. Remember that time where you were in the skip room? Dude, new easy achievement? Collectibles? Wait, this is sick! Expo Hall 2 guide. Jump circle this map for achievement. The button that says... Merch settings world champion. The Stanley Parable reassurance bucket office epilogue. Collectibles. Dude, what collectibles do you got? 
And what? Wait, what is this? Exit. Oh, I don't want to leave yet. This is so cool. Can you find them? Dude, I love to find things. <gasps> no way! Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video oh, game. Fuck. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. <laughs> and what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. <laughs> oh! One out of six! <gasps> Wait! No way. There's actually collectibles in this game? God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. Can I get that one? I have to get this is a this has to be one, right? Oh, I don't have any jumps. Stanley looks like No, I shan't say it. Okay. <laughs> a free achievement? I want a free achievement. Get yours right now. Pull the lever, receive your free achievement. No more steps. It just works. Now, here's something special. You remember uh -oh. that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. <gasps> yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Oh. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. What? I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy no. the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. It doesn't work! I want an achievement. Does it actually not work? Oh well. Well. Okay. Well. Time to move on with my life, I, I guess. It doesn't work. Maybe if I just... Well... Hey, just one more time. I'm not even gonna pull it. You just have to think like if you hit it enough times it has to give you the achievement, right? But maybe it's not about the achievement. Maybe it's just about me. Okay. Uh, uh, we have to leave. We have to leave ours. I'm going to be here forever. <laughs> Oh, God, oh. 
Just don't turn around. Just don't, don't even think about it. Okay. Phew. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Uh, I don't know, man. Infinite hole. The infinite hole? There's this. I don't want to waste a jump, though. I have 20. Is this the infinite? Oh, no. This is the balloon room. That's right. That's new. Dude, what the hell's up here? What? A collectible? Settings world champion. What is this? Epilogue? I don't want to see the epilogue yet. I'm not ready for that. Let's go to the hole. Let's go to the hole. Dude, hole? Opening rim, surrounding area, depth infinite. Hole enter. What are these? Why are these windows so bright? It just keeps going. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down. Oh, forever. God. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. Oh, God, I thought the door was closed. Wait. Where did these walls go? Okay. Oh my God. You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top and we can continue onward. Oh no. Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Dude, Undertale! <laughs> okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature what? of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. Wait, it's I don't want anyone down. to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical oh. in nature. It's more of a... Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You found what? me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look... I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. <laughs> what normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. <sighs> Cigarettes! Look, uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly infinite? But if that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I think I'll it's better for everyone here that the hole was not actually infinite. Let me just say. But especially me. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. <laughs> Mostly infinite all. That was the fucking walls like were built around me. Well, what's up here? I guess I can't go up there. Wow. The hall again. No hall again. No hall again. We've seen it. We've seen the hall. It's not infinite. It's not like the waiting room that is truly infinite. Collectibles? 
free achievement. Okay, we've been we've been there. We've been there. I, I said collectibles like we haven't already fucking seen that. Um, there's the epilogue. More hall? You guys really want the hall? You really want the hall? You really want the hall that bad? Yes? I don't think the hall is that impressive, guys. It's just a stupid hall. Why don't we... Look. How about this? Let's go back. To the beginning of the office, let's go through the vent and let's go back to the room with the skip button, right? That was great. Oh, we could reminisce. We could watch it the, what happened earlier in the stream. You really want to see the hole that bad. You really want to see the hole that bad? I mean... I mean, I guess I can see the. I, I guess I'll look. Dude, Void Jill, thank you for the prime sub. Nine months. Okay, I guess I'll. I mean. I don't know, guys. I don't think it's gonna be that good. I guess I'll go in. Yeah, why not? Oh, for heaven. <laughs> you see? I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. What? I don't even like holes that much. A normal person. I did it because other people. That's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of. Oh. <laughs> did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? It kind of did. I feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did. It's before. like the opposite I mean, of the button. Admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole. I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again, there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Mm. Mm. Had okay. enough? I'm positive. I've had enough. Thrilled. I really do have so much more to show you and to talk about. And I've there's had nothing the to see in there. Lifetime. There's nothing to see in there. I mean, we're just gonna go in and it's just gonna be the same wall. It's not gonna get sh nothing's gonna change. And there's gonna be no new dialogue. Why would we even do it? Hmm? Why don't we go back to the broom closet, guys? I just, I don't, guys, I don't think the hole's that impressive. You really want to see the hole that bad? You know, I could get you guys in big trouble right now. I could get you guys in so much trouble. You know, in the rules, the streamer says no backseating. I'm kidding, by the way. <laughs> I don't actually care. <laughs> Slash J. I mean, I guess we could see the hole. Okay, we can go check it out. We could go check it out. Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing with. Wow, okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's no. pop back up to the top and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Well, there okay. it is. The shame of my lie has come what? to haunt me. Not only is the hole not infinite, but how is this still appealing to oh, you? Oh, 
I just I fell in. I skipped dialogue. Bones, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Okay. Wait. Hmm. Is the um, teleport button not working? You sure? Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. It was working, just still nothing. Well, I suppose, I, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. What? You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a win for everyone. Oh. You get to be with the hole, I get to do literally anything This is else. me burning in hell for my fucking care, sins Stanley. of the stream. I hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest of eternity together. What the hell? Guys? What's happening? Guys, what's happening? face <laughs> change your perception Mario stair infinite staircase music. Change your reality? <laughs> it's this fucking music, like randomly generated music. Seems you had sort of dozed off there, drifting away into dreamland. But we can't have that, Stanley, because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really, truly focused on the hole? Oh, my! From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole, and I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Toodle pip. Toodle pip. No. I don't want to go 
go back down there. Oh! Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. We got our first. Oh, I guess our. I guess that would be our fourth ending, huh? I still have my Stanley collectible, right? I better. Okay, cool. I wouldn't call it bad. I mean, yeah, it was pretty backseating. <laughs> it was backseating, but I was like, okay, it's funny, so you can do it now. <laughs> the one time. The one time. What the fuck? Wasn't it worth it? It was no skip room. Look, the magic of the skip room is that we made it all up ourselves. Same with the broom closet. The hole was like too much sugar. Oh no, no, hey, I'm not mad at you guys. <laughs> like I said, it's perfectly fine. It was funny, it was funny. Yeah, I think people just want it whole. Exactly. I'm the, I, like I said, to be clear, <laughs> I get, I, it, it's fine. It's a, it's a, I just, I just want to do a, you know, a slash J. It's no big deal. It was funny. And I, and I think we all got to see something beautiful. Yeah. It look that that's that's we've earned it. I've earned it. You've earned it. After everything we've been through tonight, after the absolute settings world champion. What? Wait. Do I, do I, do I, do I, do I? Audio? Video? Key bindings? What? Oh God, what am I doing? I don't, oh no, I don't want to undo all of my fucking, is there at least like a, a set to default? Reset settings. Shit. I don't want to set the window, oh God. Hold on. I gotta make sure I turn on contact warnings again too. Don't delete the save data. Do you want to reset the settings to their default values? Yes. What? What do I do? Let me in! Is there like a... Settings? Is there like a thing in the... Check all the boxes maybe? Oh shit. Hit everything. Hit the fuck out of everything. Just literally like hit everything. Wow. Thank you, Gibson. Wow!
Okay, that's enough of that. Um, oh god, am I really gonna do this? Oh, oh, oh! Fuck! I don't even know what they say anymore. What do I do? Hold on, up, forward, left, right, interact, shift. Video, vsync, windowed, apply resolution. Oh God. Turn it to, to Dutch. I can't even move now. Oh, I have to use the arrow keys. God damn it. What? Can you get... Is this... This is something you can do, right? A vague hint? Okay, give me... Gibson. And only Gibson. You are allowed to give me a hint. Oh, God. I fucked up my audio. Reset settings. Yes. And then turn got that one. Like, oh. Look at the achievements for this game. Oh. Wait, my controls are still fucked up. Look at the achievements for this game. Beat the game. Set all settings in slider menu to all available. What? Set all setting. Sliders in the menu to all available numbers. What? Wait, wait, so I have to do 50, 51, 52, 53. Actually? 51, 52, 53, 54, 54. Oh. <laughs> I have to get it. Oh, no. I ordered a small pizza, but they gave me a lot. That's awesome, Gibson. The first person I've seen actually try this on... Hey, welcome to the stream. <laughs> this is maybe the least fucked thing we've done all day. <laughs> This, this is, is awesome. The story of a man named Stanley. Every possible key too, by the way. Okay. <laughs> this is the story of a man named Stanley. Dude, the music this is gonna be awesome. This. StanleyParable2.com updated specifically to help Jerma through this part? <laughs> Actually, that's really funny. Dude, I wish they would talk to me. I wish they would update stuff for me. They also put a spider in his mouth?
small hint that'll get you through this. I mean, we're almost done. There's no slider here. There's no We're done. What? You. Languages too? Wait, is it not just languages, but these as well? Read the achievement again. Sliders in the menu to all available numbers. I mean, I guess these are sliders. Oh God, what did I just do? Even the resolution? Even the resolution and shit? Actually? I need the I need the guide. I need the dev guide. Someone said all boxes and sliders. Even these? I'm assuming I don't have to apply. I hope. Oh no. I don't remember what I was on. <laughs> Hold on. You should extend the backseat pass. Uh, you guys can tell me now because if you know, then you know. Just the sliders need to be set to every number available using the mouse or keyboard. Some toggles hide more sliders under them. Ah, uh -huh. <gasps> that's why. Come on. Dude, what a great stream. Best stream content of the year. No pop yet. Hold down the key and it'll count. Yeah, well, I'm not doing that because someone said there's a bug. I'd rather just press it. Um. No, wait, no, we did this one. I guess I'll just go through all the sliders anyway, just in case. Eight times AA. have missed a number on one? Oh no. Oh no. Surely not. Oh no. Oh my god. Went from 50 and up with well, it's, it's only 50. Restart the game and see if it triggers on startup. Are you kidding me? It should trigger immediately. What have I missed? We're trying to get the settings achievement. Dude. Dude. You have to work.
There's, there has to be something I haven't done yet, but what? I guess I'll redo all the audio ones. Will it proc while I'm in the menu or do I have to go out first? Also, I do want to actually show uh, subtitles. It'll prompt. All right, guys, here we go. The stream of the year. This is the story of a man named Stanley. This is the story of a man named Stanley. This is the story. I wonder if, okay, hold on. Cause like the narrator at the beginning was like, this is the, and maybe it's not recognizing it as music. So stupid. This is so stupid. Oh my god, Gibson just went on Rogue Legacy 2 and I thought it was the achievement brocking. It's not working! I did everything! What? Can I not get the... You fuck. Let me in! Let me the hell in! Translation labels? Wait, did I do this? I did, right? I might be doing it too fast. Oh God. No, I, I don't know. This is awesome. I didn't miss this one because we just did it and it didn't proc. Bam, 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 bam. Every toggle for hidden. I did. I did. Like, cycle through every, I actually did, yes. The options with the arrows also count. Do they? Someone confirm, they do? Do I have to apply the resolution? Maybe I didn't do all the, these. Medium. Medium. I just got it! Let me in, let me in. I just, I have the achievement. Oh, I, don't, I, don't. I have the achievement. Oh. Aha! I can <laughs> see you've gotten the setting oh. world champion achievement. Well done. You've experienced every setting. Travel to all corners of the settings menu. There's nothing you haven't seen. So, just for you, in the Stanley Parable 2, I'm including an entirely new setting. Something called Bump Scosity. What exactly is Bump Scosity? Well, I haven't quite figured that part out yet, but I just know that you'll be able to adjust it on some sort of slider, and that it'll be available from the settings menu. We'll sort the rest of the details out later. I hope you're looking forward to trying out every level of bump scosity in the Stanley oh. Parable 2. What did I just do? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to set this to borderless windowed. 
Oh god, what did I do? What did I do? I fucked something up bad. Dude, the settings. Actually fucked something up. Reset settings? Yes. Show content warnings? Uh, Vsync. Um, oh god. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I was in full screen. Yeah, reset the settings now. It's, it's time for us to reset the settings. Um, this just in case. Sub subtitles on as well. Oh shit! There we go. Okay, we should be good now. Perfect. We did it. What a great achievement. All righty. Well, that was sick. Now what? We got a whole epilogue. Oscar and I both independently tried to fuck with you through Steam notifications, but you only noticed when I started playing an actual game. <laughs> I didn't even notice what Oscar did. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it will go at the end of the. Um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. Mm. Oh. That's it. I guess that's it. All right, well. One more for good measure. Set my game to settings world champion at some point. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Check the gaming channel. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even see. <laughs> I didn't even see you doing that. That's really funny. Um, okay, well. Well, 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 well. There was an exit around here, wasn't there? I think we've seen everything in the, the Stanley Parable 2 Expo Hall. The exit. The exit. Over right here. So the exit should be right here. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, that was pretty fun, you guys. That was a fun that was a fun little All preview right. of the Stanley Parable. Everything you wanted to. Ready to move on now? The fuck? What is that? What? There's a door in his ear. Oh. So Stanley, Coliseum. What do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together and we'll see whether or not it oh, can no. into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Wow! <gasps> oh. Don't um, collectible! Well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. I want to go in. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than I guess anything that's true. to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they wouldn't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, no. well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> oh, 
right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Oh. What the? Oh my god. Holy shit. This is insane. Look at this. I have to I had to use the restroom so bad. I have since before we started the settings thing. Dude, bumps Cossidy? No, it's not here yet. They need to add that. Wait, so for, so for real? That everything before this was just like a fucking prologue? It was in general? <gasps> oh. Whoa. Okay, let's set it to a thousand. I did beat the skip button. That was forever ago. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back and then we'll get in. Holy shit. All righty. Dude, this is how fucking long is this game? Like n disregarding the amount of content just from the first one. How fucking long is this? Now I no fucking one it took 7 years. A good one more. I'm excited. I'm excited. I think we keep going. I think we keep going because I'm I'm really really enjoying this. <laughs> Time estimate? You know what? Go ahead, Gibson. Five hours. Damn. I haven't gotten any end I've gotten like three, four endings. It's less long if you don't enter a cursive figure. Yeah, but welcome to the stream, man. <laughs> I, can't, I can't. This is the this is the socks parable where I'm playing the Stanley parable. Yeah. There's a reason I didn't want the loot to bit to, I mean, that's fine, but also, <laughs> come on, it's my stream. <laughs> I 
I like to do silly stuff. It was fun. It was also unbearable, and it's perfectly understandable. <laughs> <clears throat> so this is uh, does Stanley Parable 2 Wayne did his bit for four hours promising you to see new content afterwards and end the stream okay um that's fine this isn't Wayne's stream um and also I don't know I think that's a I don't I think that's a bit of a weird thing to say in my chat it's his stream. This is mine. But I, I, I understand. I'm just saying, you know. I'm glad I didn't sit in on that. I see. I meant to record like five minutes of Mavrat dead footage for my next video. I came out with two hours of footage. I'm not complaining or mad. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I like. I'm gonna be. I couldn't tell. It does. Some, I, I've heard of the the legend of the button. It looked very funny. Um, but this is, you know, like I said, even though you were joking, this is not the place to complain about other people's stuff. Likewise, even I, it's fine to do it as a bit. It's fine to do it. And I did it un, as don't, you know, just, just, just enjoy it. That's all hard to read. It is. It is hard to read tone through text. I, I mostly just want to do like, you know, a temperature check, assert a bit of boundaries, despite the fact that we've been <laughs> doing a an interesting bit uh i mean we watched our own stream for what an hour and i think that's the most legendary thing we've ever done um and if you truly feel genuinely frustrated by it then i'm sorry but you don't have to watch my stream and that's all, that's all i really want to say and if you did enjoy it then i'm glad because oh, I, I thought it was so funny i thought it was very funny <laughs> <laughs> How'd you feel about the bucket? Sans for Xbox One. Welcome. I loved the bucket. I had a time in my life. I'm glad. Again, again, I just want to, before we get into more of the game, I just want to assert those boundaries and just say it. I think it's good to say. It's like the narrator said. Not everything has to be funny or entertaining. <laughs> Sometimes things could just happen. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, Chaos. I think you were playing up to frustration. And I'm not, I'm not mad, and I don't think any, I, like, I, I, it, it didn't come off that way. Again, I just like to do a temperature check. And, a, and, a, and an assertion of boundaries. Because it was funny, and the, the frustration in the bit was a part of it. And was a part of what made it so funny. Just again. <clears throat> yeah, keep your arms and legs inside at all times. And I hope you're excited for a broom closet too. And yeah. <laughs> Let's go. I got I got all night, people. <clears throat> I do need to get a water at some point. This is the story of a man named Stan. The skip button. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee. I bet if you press that, it does some stupid shit. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427. The balloon? Wait, the, the, what, the balloon there? Every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley... Of course, Fish. <laughs> and then one day, something very peculiar happened. <laughs> something that would forever change Stanley. <laughs> something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized this is that the same intro. single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed the up balloons. to give him instructions. That's not even the balloon I chose. Call a meeting or even say <clears throat> hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. 
But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. All right. All right. Well, let's get into it. I'm excited to play this game All for the first time ever. Gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. <clears throat> Dude, the thing isn't on anymore. What the hell? There's a fucking gate here now. The <gasps> Stanley picked up the bucket. Yes. The the input received thing used to be there on one of the computers. And it's not there. I don't know what the fuck I did to fuck that up. Stanley oh, no. tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. <laughs> don't, God damn it. Go on, man. The broom closet's this way. Wait, there's no narration. Hello? Did you really not expect me to go this way? Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. <laughs> Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Yes! Yes! Oh, Stanley. Can you feel it? I can feel the it! The broom closet. It wants the bucket. It wants what? You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy? It's as clear as day. This broom closet <laughs> believes it deserves what the bucket. The fuck? I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom <laughs> closet is trying to say here. Oh my God. To go with the other cleaning the supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be. Given the There's pressure content the in here now. It is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your companion and lifelong friend. You can't hand it over. Oh, no. We're getting into name calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet <laughs> has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty <gasps> insults simply in order to get so you nice to hand over the bucket? It was so nice to me. It kept me safe. Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this is worse than I had imagined. And wait. Now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep well, that's not true. friends. That your relationship is purely superficial and convenient. No. That your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd Did feel really the same that? sort of kinship towards you any inanimate me? object which happened to lay in your path. In are you manipulating me into hating my favorite room? Manner. Well, I never. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. I don't really want to. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and the bucket have shared together. Go through each of them point by point. Share your journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the bucket as they have changed and evolved over the years. Let him have it. Um, okay. You can have it. I'll just put it down. Oh, okay. Okay. I've got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Here we go. Oh! There. Now it's settled. No more debate. No more discussion. Take a hike, broom closet, with all your meandering philosophical diatribes about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. Dude, I have a sticker now. All right, I've got a second sticker back here, and I'm going to slap it on really? as well because I think it's appropriate. You see, I feel that it works because the sticker is this also is awesome. a bucket. That way, if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, "Ah, it's a bucket." It is a There's bucket. A wide variety of applications for this sticker. Wow, this is sick. I get another sticker? You know what? 
I could take the name calling and the dismissal of your kinship with the bucket, but now the broom closet is just giving us the <laughs> silent treatment. And to be honest, I'm sick of the pettiness on display. You can stay here all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room of cleaning supplies. Easily the most childish such room I've ever been in. I'll see you outside, and we can get on with the story about you and your bucket. You know what? You're right, man. Maybe we don't need the broom closet. Mm. Okay. Goodbye. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. We have the bucket now. We don't need the broom closet. No, I don't want to. Um. Okay. Well, maybe I'll just. No! Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Okay. I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. Okay. What the? Executive bathroom? <gasps> oh! One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I yes! implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. We did it! What? To be rich, is it a crime? To commit crimes, isn't it rich? What a life it would be to have to pick just one. The fucking Riddler is taking a shit in here or what? Fuck! Alright, huh? Goodbye. That's three! What? That's freaky. That is weird. Well, I guess that's three. Here I shit broken hearted. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley Wait, we're actually in here now. Stunned to discover not the door is open. Of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Even now, oh. in the darkest of did oh. the warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him always. The bucket would. And he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. We are inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket. The Riddler! The Riddle, sir! That the pin number for the keypad was 2845. 2845? How is this the first time you've been in this room? Uh, because I've only done three endings. <laughs> I haven't played this game in seven years. I probably did it seven years ago and I just don't remember. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumb. Thank you, the real sir, for the, uh, the, for the five. Anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. <laughs> 2845. Oh, this one? <laughs> that wasn't even intentional that time. <laughs> I mean, I got, now we got, now we gotta have to wait a minute. You know, I mean, we could just. Got, but it turns out that the panel's emergency what? override kicked in, and the door just opened all they by knew. itself. They knew. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, what did do? <laughs> Dude, he knows. He knows what kind of person I am. Wait, did it open? Hello? I don't even know where the fuck I am. Oh. <laughs> No, uh, something. I thought this was like an AK. Um. Oh, my God, a 
the Another toy. Another miniature Stanley figurine. This, um, <clears throat> you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about <laughs> mini Stan? Mini Stan? Stanley figs. Um, what about Stanlerines? Stanlerines. Yes, I think I like that. Another cool. Stanlerine under your belt. Wow. So cool. Dude, this is sick as fuck. All right, well, let's go. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Ah. Uh-huh. Okay. What the? Stanley and the Bucket walked straight oh. ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I do, I remember this from fucking years ago. Um, or escape? What if we just escape? Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the Bucket would both meet a violent death. What? Actually? The door behind them was not okay. shut. Okay. Stanley and the Bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. <laughs> at this point, Stanley and the Bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very painful death for each of them. Whoa! What is this? Uh, uh. Where are we? Among us? Vents? As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley and the Bucket inched closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the Bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. To be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the Bucket, but what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? This is what Stanley no, no, thought no. Of himself, and he sort of kicked himself for wasting so much time carrying a Bucket everywhere. Farewell, Stanley. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator. What the fuck? As Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end as it was crushed violently to death. <gasps> Wait, it literally is Portal 2. Woman jump scare? What the fuck? It was a shame. The death of such a magnificent bucket. It's true that all buckets no. are radiant in their own way, but this one stood above the rest. It was no. a glorious bucket to behold. The bucket welcomes you to the grand exhibit. What the fuck? You're standing at the precipice of knowledge. Much like a bucket itself, the human mind is frequently empty within, a cavernous void. But through use of the exhibit in front of you, the mind becomes full and enriched and substantiated. Knowledge of the bucket and its history is the only true knowledge we really have. Will you take what you learn here out with you into the world? Will you accept with an open mind what may be challenging about the information in this exhibit? Will you change the lives of yourself and your loved ones as a result of this exhibit? Or will you turn a blind eye and continue to live as you were in ignorance and darkness. Oh. Can you see how oh. arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? Can you see the hubris that blinded him? <laughs> Can you see that the bucket no. is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his short life? It was. 
Oh, look at this. 25 bu That's a little more than 25 buckets. Photograph of 25 buckets, the greatest number of buckets ever captured on camera. The photographer experienced catonic shock for several weeks as a result of the euphoria from exposure to this many buckets at once. Um, Homestuck? Count them? It's literally not 25. 5, 10, 15, 20. No, it's not. It's way more. A bucket with two handles. This bucket is depicted as having two handles. Such a design has never been created in real life, having been deemed too dangerous and recklessly experimental. Every year, dozens are put to death just for attempting it. There's an office chair there. Inferno buckets? A replica of the Inferno bucket, which in the medieval era was so powerfully alluring that it drove dozens of nations to war with one another for control of it. Billions died, and yet, in spite of it all, the simple fact remains. No one can control a bucket. <laughs> Fuck. The stress point. Worrying, negative, forecasting, negative thinking. Vulnerability equals size and strength of the bucket. Coping strategies equals holes. Rest and relaxation doing something you enjoy. Rest, relaxation. Ah, whoa! Well, we know that buckets predate the existence of mankind, we do not know by how long. This cave drawing depicts early man's discovery of the practical uses of the bucket, by which time the bucket had already likely been around for several millennia. Notice in these drawings how the bucket is allowing itself to be used, having judged humanity to be worthy of its treasures. No man can own a bucket, and certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. That's kind of true. What is back there? Oh dear. The hanging bucket. This piece symbolizes the necessary relationship between bucket and humanity. However clear our grasp of the bucket may be, there is yet more that is always out of reach. This distance, inevitably, is for our own good. <gasps> oh no. There's a hole! Uh, oh, what? Uh oh. But there is something we can do. Something we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. Let Stanley die. Let him be crushed by the machine. Don't what? reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if only we let Stanley die together. The bucket shall take its place as ruler, as leader, as commander of a new world, a new vision. Of the Okay. Okay, cool. Well, all of his co-workers were gone. What, what the could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Huh? No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Meeting today? In the meeting room, figurine fighters committee. What the figurine fighters committee? Where's the meeting room? Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Turn off all the computers. Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms, and a wave of. <sighs> all right, let's go. A minor thing that'll help you throughout the game, Gibson. Uh, yeah, I trust you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Only you, Gibson.
If you don't remember old content, you can just not take the bucket. Really? I see. I mean, I don't mind just seeing the new content too much. Too much anyway. I don't think he could put the bucket back. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Where's the meeting room? Left? Okay. How we can find them. What we know, small floating objects have appeared across the office. We have to synergize our resources to ensure their retrieval. There are many questions. There was no memo from management. Agenda, how can you tell you spotted one? What makes them float in the air? Who took these pictures of them? <laughs> Higglies are hard to find. Follow clues provided by employee 416. We can do it. Red room? I mean, red room. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. There will be a reward for finding them all. Lies, who are you? 666 lol. There will be cleaning of this wall required. Stop kidding yourselves. I want them so much. I want to go home. Looks like 427. Five there be, just take it from me. Gotta collect them all. What? Inside of a sequel exhibit, a large room, lots of boxes, stairs, something to do with stairs, somewhere both red and blue. Some kind of game? There must be a point to this. Warehouse access plan. Produce one plank to ease of access past fence. Construct bridge to allow collection of shiny float. Retrieve Chris's remains from warehouse floor. Construct new structurally sound bridge. What? Trust the completionist instinct. Why wouldn't they just tell us something will happen? This investigation, this room, they feel pointless. TBH. Weird spinning figures. Building a bridge, saw one in the car. The car room's on the other side. Do we need contracts with them? NDA, potential liability. Can we sell them? Obviously, more money if sold together. How many are there? Six, seven, 151? Oh no. Why floating? Dreams, magic, magnets. Okay. Why do they look like 427? of levitation. Maybe we are the collectibles. Shut the freak up. Do we make our image to pick up sounds unusual to our regular office ambience or local audio sources using an array of cardioid microphones, also known as directional micro microphone, which picks up sound from a particular area. Analysis of the, cons the recordings allowed me to triangulate the source of the strange noise. What data shows that in all likelihood it's coming from a dark area behind a very warm place? I also picked up what looks like to be your reverberance off a of porcelain surface. What? Okay, cuz I've been hearing weird noises. I've been hearing weird noises. I have been. Like every so often and every so often I've been like what the fuck is that sound? Please do not leave the office before reporting back on any new findings. I'm a help. I'm a post it. <laughs> stupid, so stupid. <laughs> this is literally yeah, like Left 4 Dead 2. I kind of love it, dude. Stuff on the table as well. All right. You got anything to say about that, man? I guess not. <gasps> Stanley, we must move on from this broom closet simply because I have no remaining stickers. If I did, you can guarantee we'd be in here for hours. But alas, no stickers.
Okay. <laughs> Stickerless guy. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Okay. Let's go down. Elevator is stuck. Oh my God. even moving? Wait, it's like shaking now. Any thoughts before we fight Asgore? <laughs> remember when Gondol played? I do remember that. That was a great, that was a great stream. I guess this would be Jevo. Did it, is it Jevo like a staircase or maybe it's both? Maybe it's an elevator that leads to a staircase. Remember that time we spent an hour in a... No. Surely not. I just reset it. Oh my god. That was a big up. Does this even do anything? Hold on. Am I getting... Is this just like an elevator simulator? Oh my god, you fucking asshole! I would have waited here too. This would have been the rest of the stream. If I didn't push this button. Crushed by the elevator door? That's a good question. I thought we were in somewhere else. It doesn't let you go through. Okay, you can open back up. <laughs> oh my. 
Okay, but what if there is something at the bottom? No, 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 no,
was simply trying to live its life down here as comfortably as possible. Yet Stanley was unconsolable. This isn't an ending. This is just a hole in the ground. Oh, Jesus. But True, it wasn't an ending. But it's where we happen to be. And maybe, possibly, if we accept the reality of things, maybe this will become an ending eventually. It's, it's what the bucket was counting on. The two of them waited for a very long time. Soft like work in 2013, so they added an ending for it? That's awesome! What the hell? I literally was just like walking around and I happened to trip into it. What the hell? My god, the bumpscosity in here is absolutely overwhelming. A it is! You people have got to be nuts. How can you stand this much bumpscosity? <laughs> it's kind of awesome, man. You learn to love it. What are they fucking playing on these computers? A balloon! A like Phineas and Ferb! Whale? The confusion and the chaos all seemed to melt away as Stanley embraced the bucket. Alrighty. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. No. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. <laughs> Here we go. Turned out to be correct. Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. It truly How is. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. Dude, I would love a grape soda right now. Are you kidding me? I wish this was. I wish I was here right now. Like I would be True. unbelievably Being happy. With the bucket was a grand adventure. I should buy grapes. Stanley reflected on all they'd been through together. Oh. Walking through the door on the right, then walking to the lounge, then arriving at the lounge. What yeah. a thrilling journey! The bucket. Yeah. Tell it to me again. Tell it to me again. I love that story. Perhaps this was where the bucket felt most truly at home. Here in the employee lounge. Perhaps it's the only place a bucket can even feel at home. I have to get a soda. Dude, that's in Find Everything. Dude, that's crazy because Find Everything does have a giant quarter. I wanna I wanna make a giant quarter and find everything and you can put it in a vending Stanley machine and get a bloxy cola. Just give the bucket absolutely as much time as it needed to be in the lounge. Clearly the bucket and the employee lounge shared a special connection. I would love grapes. I feel like the dude. I feel like the 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 duck song, duck right now. Well, take it in one more time, and I guess let's keep moving. But finally, the bucket was done being in the lounge, and they took the first open door on their left to get back to business. No, said the bucket. What? Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. The bucket go voice? There. Go to the cargo lift. Okay. I'll go to the the um the cargo lift. Hey, this is the warehouse where they said there was gonna be like a plank br <gasps> Careful, careful. What the hell event? Wait, the up figure. Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little yes. Stanley figurines. And now I'm torn between Stanlarines and Figlies. What do you think, Stanley? What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness Figlies that is you get funny. from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one? Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. Figlies is like Fred Figglehorn. Uh, what the hell is in here? Is this just back up? Or? Nah, it's not back up. Where the hell are we? 
Help, help, the striped shirt savage is tearing off my arm. Ow, beware the referee of pain. Oh, <laughs> uh, hey. Where the hell are we? Oh, dear. Cassettes? Narrator di- uh, Um... Huh? What the fuck? Um... Wait, what? Okay, this is day number 295. Tape number. Uh, uh. I don't even know. I've lost track. Nothing feels real anymore. What the hell's happening? The longer I study this bucket, the less sense anything makes. The man is sheer euphoria I feel every time I pick it up. He sounds completely no different. How many times I've done it, it's always the same feeling. And the Content warning? In my chest. Content warning. When I set it down, oh, it doesn't make sense. There's no explanation for it. I still haven't figured out why I see the Just world in case. It's a, so thank you, Ray Bonnie. differently when this bucket is in my arms. Why everything feels so. What do I do with this treasure? I can. I can monetize it. Yes. What the hell? It's unthinkable the amounts of money people will pay no. for even <laughs> just an hour with the bucket. This. It's my golden ticket, but I have to be careful because as soon as this gets out, <laughs> there's going to be a target on my back. What the fuck? Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get me. What's that? Who's there? Bro, what the fuck? What the hell is that? It just ended there? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Okay. Stanley decided to go to the meeting okay. room. Perhaps he had simply okay. missed the memo. Cool, man. Cool, 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 cool. Um, moving on. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't get the bucket. <laughs> Warmth spread through Stanley's arms. With the bucket in his arms again, he was home. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Let me let me let me make sure because we did mesh with settings earlier. Just in case. Okay, cool. Yeah, because this game does have um, you know, some content warnings. So you'll see it in the top right, and I'll try to I'll point it out when it happens. Um and yeah, and if you don't want to see that, then take care of yourself. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Uh, I gotta think about it. <laughs> uh, nah, I kind of want to go on the right. Yeah, let's go on the right. Let's this the was right. not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. 
And here it was. <laughs> Had the bucket turned out to be correct, was this better than the meeting room? It is. Yes, We've already been here, though. Himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. Let's go. How Let's go to the warehouse. Never mind. The bucket oh. was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. It was all right. It, was all, it wasn't that bad, man. I just want to get to the warehouse. That's all. Yeah. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. <laughs> the cargo lift, yes. Okay. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. That was fucking weird. Why the hell was that down there? Okay, don't, don't fall off. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly well, convinced see, that the see. bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. We'll see. We'll drop the bucket off at In some point. Here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. This room? You want me to go in here, man? Okay. Uh, I guess let's go, yeah. Yeah, let's let's go. What's in here? What's in here? Show me. Oh, fuck. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. Pick up the phone and it will take us back home where we can go about life together. Oh, hold on. Why did you unplug the phone? <laughs> Were you trying to resist the bucket's orders? Stanley, I was joking. Obviously, the bucket isn't talking to you and telling you to do things. Buckets can't talk. It was a joke. Don't you get the joke? It's funny, Stanley. A talking bucket. Ah, can't you see? I'm... Oh, goodness. I must have really bungled up the delivery if you actually took me seriously. Where did I mess up the joke? Should I have paused for longer or spoken quicker? Oh, comedic timing is so difficult. I wish I were better at it, but there isn't exactly an instructional video on comedy That's not true. that one can watch to fully. Oh wait, yes, there is. Um, oh god! Right here. Let's take yeah. a look. Hello. What oh. is comedic timing? What is comedic timing? How does it work? How long should it last? How can it be used to effectively silence your political enemies? What? And more importantly, can it be taught in its entirety within 90 seconds? Thankfully, the answer to all of these questions is yes. Let's dive deeper. If you've ever told a joke or made someone laugh, in all likelihood, you did it while standing 50 to 80 centimeters <laughs> from them in a room of no more than 76 degrees Fahrenheit <laughs> with one of your arms raised true. straight upward I do it at a 50 stream. degree angle from your body. These are the optimal conditions for good comedic timing. To begin the joke, start by stating and spelling your Fucking name. Simpsons over. Next, provide a brief synopsis of the joke, including the specific times at which the recipient of the joke will laugh, and then... Spell out your name a second time. With these steps complete, it's time to begin the humor. Speak the entire joke in no more than 18 seconds and no less than 13 and a half, pausing only for bathroom breaks when necessary. True. When the joke has concluded, it is customary to inform your listener that the joke is over by declaring in your loudest possible voice, I'm Dunny with the funny. <laughs> Let's practice screaming. I'm Dunny with the funny now. I'm Dunny with the funny. All right, stream's over, everybody. Go Good. on. This saying is a perfect example of expectation management, give me time to say it. which is the cornerstone of good comedy. Finally, it's time to hand out surveys. Collecting hard data this from your so audience stupid. on how rapt they were throughout the joke <laughs> is the only way to grow or learn as a comedian. An effective survey should be no less than 10 pages long and should include the same question reprinted several times. Just to ensure the survey taker is actually paying attention and not simply filling in answers at random. So and that's all there is. With these strategies at your disposal, 
you'll have audiences doubled over in laughter and even tripled over in laughter in no time at all. Just remember to let them stop laughing at some point, you gut-busting little scamp. After all, we're each of us needed on the front lines of the war to fight the 12-legged invader who threaten our very existence and to very likely die in a hailstorm of bullets and mandibles. All of us must be prepared to give our lives to this noble cause. What the Just hell? as our children must do after us, and their children after them. What the God hell is speed, going on? And may Earth reign supreme. Uh, what was that? What the hell's going? What the what the fuck is going on? Oh goodness, this video is a little outdated, isn't it? Well, no matter. I think the fundamentals of proper comedic timing are still as relevant today as they were back then. So, with that in mind, I believe the only way forward is for us to return to the two doors and walk through all of this again, so I can try telling my story with more appropriate comedic delivery. Come along, let's head back. Uh, okay, man. Let's go. Alright. I'm just gonna... Cross the cargo lift here. I can feel it. This time, I'm really going to nail the delivery. You'll be in stitches. A talking bucket, you'll say? How ridiculous. How absurd. What a hilarious concept. The king of comedy. That's what you'll call me. Thank goodness we had the instructional video. Wait, the bucket sticker Otherwise, is gone. What the fuck? Who knows where we'd be right now? Well, I wouldn't be the king of comedy, that's for sure. The bucket spoke to Stanley. Hmm. The bucket spoke. The bucket spoke. Oh, I'll figure it out on the fly. No Where did the bucket the sticker go? Things. Where did the where did the bucket where did the bucket sticker go? Uh huh. Okay. What the fuck was that, dude? What the hell? Did you not see that? There was a fucking a Gru was over there, like a monster. Stop. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Oh. 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 It's a shading box! <laughs> like, it's just boxes. Wait, 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 wait. And the door's closed. Oh, I can't go back. Okay, let's go. I thought this opened for a minute. I wonder if I can explore these, some of these, like this at least, like some of these have to be rooms I can get into. It's only in perfect darkness, that's the whole point. Well, it was perfect darkness, so. Here we go, you ready? <clears throat> When Stanley and the Bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. Oh no. Huh? Hello? Oh! Well, uh, we're back at the phone already. No, 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 what's going on? There were supposed to be several rooms leading up to this. What the hell? There was supposed to be a build-up to this point. A dramatic display of remarkable comedic wit, which culminates in this scene with the phone. But now the timing's completely off. The joke will never land. Well, not the way it was meant to. And it's all my fault. I must have forgotten that the phone room comes immediately after the two doors room. What an egregious uh mistake. I've made a fool of myself. I don't deserve the title of King of Comedy. I'm nothing. I'm not even the lowliest joke-telling wealth. I think... 
I think I need to go back and rewatch that instructional video again. Yes, surely that will help me improve my. Oh. Here we go. You oh. ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. Oh, oh no. Oh, come on. It closed behind me. Wait. It's like visible now. What? What? Uh, we're back at the phone already. Oh, no, no. What? What the f Here we go. Okay. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door okay. to the left. Just go. Just go, no, just no, go, no, man. No. Just go. Just go. The door on the right, leading back to the phone. Did you not even look at the instructional video? I think this is all covered very clearly. There's no way I can make the comedic timing work now. It's done. The joke is completely down and over. It's all your fault, Stanley. I'm going to be ridiculed Sorry. in the community of other joke writers. I'm going to be shamed at every one of our meetings from now on. All because you couldn't watch a simple video and take a hint. Are you proud of yourself for bringing me down, Stanley? Are you proud? Stanley, you love the bucket so much, it's like you, um, it's as though all of your other most prized possessions <laughs> pale in comparison. Yes. Well, let me try that again, Stanley. I heard that you are pale with shame over how unabashedly in love with a bucket you are. No? Still not? It, is it the delivery? Pale with shame. Pale with shame? Pale... What's another word to describe a bucket? Stanley, this bucket is so metal, I think I saw it playing guitar. No. Well. No, 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 no. We're getting away from making fun of Stanley's obsession with the bucket, which was the whole point of this. We I, did it again. I'm no good at these jokes. I need more instructional videos. That's exactly what it is. That's what will make me the king of comedy again. More instructional videos. Let's see. All right, dude, I need a water. I'm gonna I'm gonna be right back super quickly. I will be back in like two three minutes, uh, and then we're gonna keep going because I'm I'm having a lot of fun. So I here I'll, I'll put you on my uh, my beer be screen, and we will be back in. Uh, we'll be ba we'll be back in a moment. I'll leave you with. Uh, uh, hold on, let me give you some music to listen to. Here we are, and I will be right back. Bar bar. <laughs>
All righty. Dude, this game is awesome. I got a water. I filled up. I took a bit of a break. I'm excited to play more, honestly. Um, We'll we'll probably go for a a little bit longer. Um, I made something awesome with the video edit bot. Did you? Uh, It's a little late. It's like 11 p.m. So we're gonna keep going. I am gonna. I'm gonna probably keep my voice down a little bit, just cause it is late. Um. But yeah. <clears throat> the hell did you make, Tyler? What? The fuck? What is this? What the hell is this video? Is this stream safe? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, let me see if I can. <laughs> the fuck? What is this? Wait, I can't hear it. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> well let's uh let's keep let's keep it going let me let me close a couple things real quick and there we go i'm gonna take a, a glug of white hair this game is awesome How many achievements are there in this game? Play the Stanley Parable for the entire duration of a Tuesday. Quit the game, then start it again. Click on door 430 five times? Wait a minute. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided- Oh, please. Are you oh really just God. doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. Oh, I would no. say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Hmm. I have to say I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort from Oh no. Doors. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly. Oh no, 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 no. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to oh, see some. No, I, I know what's going to happen. I want to see commitment. I know what's going to happen go here. All the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? I can do that, I can do that, I can do that. Wait, what the fuck? Where's four, door 417? Did someone spoil this earlier? No, I looked at my, I looked at the achievements real quick and I saw it. I was looking at the achievements. <sighs> I was looking, I was looking at doors like crazy earlier in the stream. Could you fucking imagine? Uh-oh. Oh, someone said that about something else, I think. I don't know. Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. Okay, I can do that. Wait, that's my door, right? No, that's 427. Wait, where is 437? Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. 415? 415? Four one five. Now back to door number four three seven. Okay. Go. Let's see. How about you click on? Well, I don't know. The copy machine. <gasps> Whoa. This? All right. Back to room four one seven. I'm really feeling it now. Oh. I think we're getting somewhere. Oh no. Oh okay. no. Now go climb on employee 419's desk. Climb on it? Where? Literally where? Oh. Let me on. Yes. This is great. You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. Okay. We've almost got it. Now the copy machine. Do that one again. <laughs> oh, fuck. I wish I had the bucket with me right now. Finish it off, Stanley. Five clicks on door 430. Yeah. Oh, wait, I got the achievement! Oh, wow. I got the achievement! That felt amazing. 
Oh. And it's Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clips. I thought it was going to be something think so much worse. What were you thinking? I thought it was going to be something so, so much worse. I thought it was going to lead me to the fucking button room. <laughs> God. Okay. That was awesome. Cool. It's like so fucking freaked the hell out. Nothing else? What other GB? Hold on, hold on. There's one that's just like eight, 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 eight. The input. I, I, I actually did. Yeah, I did. I have to click two hundred times on the door, and I was so scared this was it. Don't play the Stanley Parable for ten years. All right. Well, let's go. I wonder if you could do that with the bucket. I guess it's not really an ending. Um, I want to, I'm actually going to leave the bucket behind. Um, I want to do a little bit of exploring without the bucket. I think, I think we're, you know, we're, we're big fellas. When we're big Stanley boys. When came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Um... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire I see. It. I'll, 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 I'll check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I figured there would be, honestly. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the first time understood true happiness. Then the feeling went away, and he felt sad again. Then it came back, and lingered for a minute or two. Won't be able to now get it now. Now it's an oh, well. Just a kind of, um, tingle. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I see. Well, I guess we're not getting it then. <laughs> Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. I want. Oh, see. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story this. has been about nothing this but is a phone too. all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero <laughs> consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Okay. 2B1. 2B1? 2B3. Do not stand on this side of fence. No buckets past this point? What? The fuck? Okay. Now listen carefully, this is oh. important. Stanley walked <gasps> through the red door. The Figler and the Reens. Very Figure soon, you'll Lurins. collect the last one. And then that the one first more? number will equal the second number. And that will be it. We'll be different people by then. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them. And now, we have them all. You can't go back did to I just open and close that door? Figler and the Reens. None of us can. Wait, which door did I just open? I think I, think I might. I don't know. Are you talking about this one? I don't know. Oh, one of these. I think you might have just been mishearing sounds. I didn't see a door open. Um, I don't remember which one he told me to do. Oh shit. I mean, surely he said the left one, right? Um. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Uh. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. 
All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? What the hell? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Uh, Work skill with trees me. You've me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. Oh! There we go. A third option. <gasps> this already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. I want to. But I almost want to go here. Why are people saying oh no in the chat? Why are people saying oh no in the chat? Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Honestly? It's been pretty good, man. I've been enjoying it. You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? Well, it's instinct mostly, a calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the oh idea no. came from, except that I, I felt it in my Gives it it's okay, because I know too. That, Stanley. Don't even I know, try. I know. Here, I think we all know what's about to happen. Previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version, and to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Oh no. <laughs> Shit. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking? There's a competitive the leaderboard? Again, honest answers, please. I didn't see it, so that would be like a two. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been huh? working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity <laughs> oh, no, to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. In this oh, game, no. <laughs> Towards Damien. All right. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've How been long? playing it for about four hours. Uh so why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. The sun is up. Good night, Chaos. Wait, like, what the fuck? So. Okay, I thought it was gonna be like I had to go back and forth or something. Or you literally just sit here and push a button for how long? <laughs> oh no! Come on! It has 
has to stop at some point, right? Yes, in four... watched Wayne do this before? I've heard legends of it. I've heard legends of it. Okay, what time is it right now? It's 11.20? 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. Oh my god. Until 3 in the morning. We have to sit here until three in the morning. Is there a che is there is there is there an achievement for this? Is there an achievement for this? If there's an achievement for this, I have to do it. There's no achievement. Okay. Oh my god, we do have God Game Noir. Okay. Oh shit! Thank you, Ghost of Christ, Ghost of Christ, Ghost of Christmas Future for the three.
What was it close? <laughs> what happened? I actually didn't see. <laughs> I almost killed it reading the donation. I can't even see it. Oh God. Are we really gonna do this? This game does something to people, man. This game does something to people who stream. This is fucked. This is like, this is, this is horrific. The kind of shit they put in this game. It's unbelievable. And half of it wasn't even intentional. And now we're at the first part of the game where the game literally wants you to sit here for four hours on purpose. You also be both reading Homestuck. Would you rather do read all of Homestuck in a stream or this? Um Easy question, definitely this. Homestuck is like 30 hours of reading. In one stream? What if it was both? Look. <laughs> no. You could mash through pages. I mean, you could read all of. There's a video on YouTube that's all of Homestuck in 12 seconds. Oh my god, fucking it's Oh no. What is the Jiva connections? How much is the Santa Aquarium? It is $500 to do a Santa Aquarium. But don't feel like you need to do that to like save the stream. I promise you. Like, if you, if, if the generosity is rigid, but don't feel like you need to do it. What's longer at this point? I, in terms of Insane Aquarium or this? Can you beat Insane Aquarium in less than four hours? I, I'm pretty sure it's a two hour, one to two hour game. I don't think it's that long at all. The, yeah, the main story. Dude, I love it. It's the best game ever. I feel like I'm like, I'm walking the path of warriors right now. My Dracula, what do you mean Dracula daily email listing? The path of warrior. Hey, Milky the Squid, welcome to the stream. First time chat. Whoa! New dialogue? Yes! Three hours 
in 45 minutes. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh. Everything we've done today has led up to this. How can I not chat after seeing this? Expect level baby protection. If you speedrun this game for 100%, does this count? This has to count. Like, of course. What an awful 100%. What an awful game to speedrun for 100%. How long do we need to baby juggle for three hours and 45 more minutes? Yeah, four hours. of all achievements this wouldn't be required but the time would be 10 years yeah I do, it really doesn't feel like it's been if i feel like it's only been like five minutes dude i could really test my shit right now and like play clash royale while we're doing this devastation of community this bit then failing like an hour in hey sometimes it happens sometimes you try to climb a mountain it's like getting over it sometimes you try to climb a mountain and you fall really far but you still have knowing that you made it that far to begin with can we watch for these the way I, I almost with no hesitation said yes I literally would have put it on if not for the fact that I would get banned off Twitch. I literally would have put it on. Oh, this would definitely be, I would love getting over it is like awesome. five pixels and mute the audio you know my hand oh my god play the VOD Skip shenanigans. Well, with the skip shenanigans, we didn't have a game to play. Now we have a game to play. Wouldn't you say we need to focus on the game? The fundamental opposite of the skip bit, yeah. There's an all endings RD category, and there's only one, and it's eight hours. Think about the fact I've been going and I, uh, non-stop, then this whole stream could be considered a speed run if I beat the whole fucking thing. Remember when I almost did that with the blob and then we went for like way too fucking long?
Didn't I stream for 10, 11? I've done a couple. Oh my God. I've done a couple 10, 11 hour streams. I, we did, we had a couple of blob people from the community come in. Um, We did the God game dev stream. That was like long as balls because of the tornado. We did the one that was long as balls because of the nature of it. Um, we did uh, we did a nine hour God game stream. We did a 10 hour Delta rune stream. We don't do long streams too often, but they, they come, they come, they come and go. Halloween stream was 16 hours, but that was like a planned, like, cause I, I don't really want to do a 24 hour stream. Um, but I wanted to do something like decently long and like marathon-y without like, you know, sacrificing my health. Um, and I'd love to do a 24 hour at some point, but this was like right after car stream. Um, so it was like, it was 16 hours. And that was really good. The fuck, the candy tier list. I bought like a hundred dollars worth of candy, ranked it all. That was awesome. That was like one of my favorite streams ever. And we made it. We raised like fifteen hundred bucks for charity. Dude, the nine-hour god game stream is legendary. Being able to get uh, go sixteen hours is already a good start for twenty-four. Well, we we done twenty-four not on my channel but on Ferris's channel. Um, and out of the six of us, I was the only one awake for all twenty-four hours. And that was like a month before Halloween. That was a very good stream. I, and, and I, I realized with the car stream, the stream really peaks at the eight hour to 16 hour mark because after 16, because between then we're like very sleep deprived, but we're like funny. We still have enough energy and we're like, we were trying so desperately to entertain each other playing like the shittiest games ever. Like I bought, I spent a bunch of money. I bought everyone Nick kart racers and I gifted it and we just streamed that because we were just like, like digging for content. Um, and it made me realize like it's at that point that we had our funniest because after the 16 hour mark, we're like, okay, we need to sleep. We're so fucking tired. A lot of crazy. Things. Well, my VOD channel has every stream I've ever done and Ferris's channel ha should have the, the car VOD. At hour 16, everyone is tired and giggly at 20, 24, everyone is in pure mission. Yeah, exactly. Ugh. That's why I, I, I like the, I like the 16 ish hour streams. I think they're very good. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, my fucking hand is Rebind click? Are you serious? I can't rebind click? You can also use E? Oh my god. It's interact on the controls. Let me do the other one. We're good. I can hit it with my thumb now. We're perfect.
That's true, Jummy. You know what? You're so right. I, I had it on my, my mouse because I can hold my mouse is wireless, so I can just like hold it. Save and quit? No, we can't do that. This would be longer than this. What if I just... Be good in the original, but they fixed it. Set graphics to minimum, you can stop and continue later. Am I, I am not gonna keep this shit open for like five days. Are you serious? The prospect of that is so fucking funny. doing right now. <laughs> what is the commitment achievement? And I, I look at you with like my eyebrow raised. What is the commitment achievement? I thought it would pause if I did that. game originally a Half-Life 2 mod? Was the demo? I th Was the Stanley Parable 1 a Half-Life 2 mod? Tip the lesson strain? Whoa! New dialogue! Oh no. 
I thought he was gonna like introduce like two buttons. This mod before the 2013 version. I see. See now now here's what we've done. I'm gonna be I'm gonna level with you and I'm gonna be completely honest. When I did this, my goal was to do this for like three minutes. And then I was gonna laugh about it and I was gonna be like, I scared you, didn't I? Now here's the problem. We've been doing this for half an hour. So now we face sunk cost fallacy and how it affects me because now i feel okay well we've already done this for half 30 minutes of my life is already gone I, i've already lost half an hour of sleep let's just do another three three and a half Like I'm, I'm not, I, I put on the Sly Cooper music playlist. I was gonna have the first song play out, and I was gonna be like, "Okay, we're done." <laughs> okay, I was like, "I scared you, didn't I?" <laughs> okay. uh, the tip, yeah, go ahead. First time in a, a few years, I've heard "sunk cost fallacy" said correctly. What do people say? "Sunk cost fallacy." Just having more thirty minutes. Oh. Maybe won't start burning as soon as he touches the fire. I see. I just get scared that I'm gonna do it for too long. I love Soxby Groove. Soxby Groove is like one of the greatest emotes ever. It's because Tyler suggested it. I can never change it. When do you think this baby is now? How are they doing? What did they grow up to be? Well, we gotta find out. If we let it die, then we let it die. The baby grew up. They oh, they did say the baby grew up. That's right. Why don't I remember like a dog being here? Cause I remember seeing this a couple years ago. I remember getting to this room being like, fuck no. Um, why do I remember there being like a cutout of a dog? Or is that, that's a hat in time.
Hi, Blue Baby. I see Sox Sigma. Th yep. We started 35, 40 minutes ago. Wait, there's a new Wordle in nine minutes? There's a new Wordle in nine minutes? Can we have media share? Maybe. It's tempting. I'll think about it. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Wordle is EST based? No, it's it's local based. It's It's based on your local time. Because I have friends who will do the new Wordle and then mine will still not be updated. And that's also why you'll see bots posting the Wordle for every answer for the next month. Because it's not on a server and it's just like a, it's just like a, I think it's an algorithm. Like every day ever is already planned out by Wordle. Some shit like that. This is an issue because here's the thing. I don't even know if I want to do this for three more hours. But again, <laughs> I'm like, well, I've already spent 40 minutes doing it. I almost want to just like force myself to mess up. But I don't, but I want to see it through at the same time. Buttons? Oh boy. Oh. my shoe real quick. Okay, we're good. What if we try to count every dial in this room? I like the bricks! One, two, okay, wait, wait, wait. Four, eight, twelve. Sixteen, twenty. Oh, God. Twenty, uh, 24, 28, 32, 64, 64, okay, so this is 64, what's 64 plus 32? Oh my god. I can't think with this fucking button. 90, 8, 98, 96. 96, 96, 96, Jesus. One twenty eight. So that that whole quarter is one twenty eight, dude. Let's go. How am I gonna count this? Oh my God! There's a plant there. Thirty-two. 
um, 36, 40, 44, 48. So each of these is 48 squares big. I can't count 48. Nine, okay, wait. 48, 96. Oh my god. Wait, it's not a 40. How did I get the 48? What? Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. I lost count. 48. Ninety six. What's ninety six plus forty eight? One hundred four. One forty four. Dude, I like doing math in my head. <laughs> this is horrible. One forty four. One forty four. What's what's? Four plus eight. So 152 plus four. 192. 240. 288. 288 plus 48. 296. 336. Three forty two. So three eighty two per half. What's three eighty two plus three eighty two? Six hundred. What's eighty two plus eighty two? Sixty one sixty four. Six hundred. Seven hundred. So seven hundred sixty four. Not counting this section. How big was this section? 90 something? Someone type seven. Someone type the, the 700 number I just said in chat. Seven. I didn't say 769. I didn't say 7420. It was 764. 764 plus 128. 764 plus 128 twice. 128 times 2? What's 28 times 2? 40, 56. 256 plus 764. 256 plus 764. 8, 9. What's 64 plus 56? 70. I, I lost all, I lost all count. I completely lost count. I think it's 1020. I think it's 1020. There are 1020 of these squares in this room. This is the greatest dream content I think you've ever seen. Do you think you could press the button without looking at the baby? As in turn around and then press when you think the baby gets close? game gets worse intriguing we've been doing this for uh, over 45 minutes we've been doing this for 45 minutes
How much a donation to get you to stop this? Don't, I, I don't want to put a number on it. Oh, that's not good. This is my, this is my hubris, not yours. Don't worry, it's okay. It's okay, I promise. <laughs> I get, it is, it is 500 for insane aquarium. But don't feel like you need to donate 500 to save the stream. The generosity is appreciated regardless. And I, I say, I just want to say, and I say this with little to no exaggeration, I am so fucking glad I got here at the start of this. <laughs> Scared you, didn't I? <laughs> oh my god! Shout out. What's the soundtrack? It, this is, uh, I have Sly Cooper music on right now from all three games. Actually, all four games. I think there's a couple tracks from four in here. I think we should be five to ten minutes away from hour one. thing I said this earlier is I did this with the full intent of doing it for like three minutes and then I was gonna be like okay hi, hi I scared you did not oh my god <laughs> that's so 
you walk into the stream. <laughs> I did this with the full intent. I was going to be like, okay, I scared you. Let's go like three minutes in. We've been doing this for nearly an hour. One more card for the ro Oh, God. What the hell did you get up to, Sophie? Dude, Sophie, I hope you had a wonderful stream. Um... Welcome to the next three hours of my stream. I'm playing the new Stanley Parable game. We checked out some new content tonight. We saw some really cool stuff. I spent like two hours um, in a room with absolutely nothing to do in it. Just talking to myself and watching my own stream. And now I'm going to spend the next three hours hitting a button. <laughs> For an ending. There were three gondolas, yeah. Sophie, I appreciate the raid. I hope you had a wonderful stream and I hope you have a, a wonderful rest of your night. Yeah, the, the VOD includes a time loop, that's true. <laughs> VOD watchers go forward in time 60 seconds. Re go forward 60 seconds in the VOD. This is literally like an ancient fable that they like that they warn you about in school about the dangers of sunk cost fallacy. It's okay to walk away from something. You don't need the fulfillment it would grant you. You can just go and move on with your life. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't. The baby is Apollo. What if the baby is Isaac and I'm Abraham? Ooh, close one. I scared you, didn't I? <sighs> <laughs> Did we get new dialogue yet? When are we getting new dialogue? This is like if Sisyphus could let the rocks roll into a hole and then he'd be done. That's true. before there's any new dialogue? I figured he would say something at the, at the one hour mark. What if you get 3.40 in and someone donates to stop? Then I guess I stop at three hours and 40 minutes. Immovable object shocks and his weird determination versus unstoppable force made me on fire. I'm literally like if if a SpongeBob character went through the events of Undertale. Tried to use his boon during Wayne's trial. I see. Incredible mental image, thank you. It makes, if you think about it, it makes sense. Sponge Tail is the sequel to Sponge Stuck. There's an actual, like, SpongeBob Undertale AU with, like, good music. Like, there's a whole community of people who make music for it, and it's, like, actually good. That is the most accurate explanation of who you are. <laughs> That's really funny. Which Spongebob character would you say? It's literally Patrick. Like, without question. 
You know that Santa's voice is Patrick. Maybe, maybe it's the way you're dressed. Like it can't be anyone else. The SpongeBob sub is nuts. It's actually nuts. Like there's so many songs from that that I have just in a playlist that I listen to sometimes. SpongeBob at the Sands in that AU? That's true. That's true. Well, the AU was wrong. Well, the, then there's Sponge Swap, which I think has Patrick as Sands. There's literally, there literally is an AU for everything in Undertale, and some of it is so good. Like the Undertale, I think it's like the Undertale SoundCloud community, or the people who just like make like AU music for like the randomest shit ever. Like Mordecai hopes and dreams. <laughs> it's insane. It's like actually so good too. Undertale AU that's also a, sponge, a Sox be extreme where we play Stanley Bearable and we don't get stuck on the baby. Right now. No, I'm just kidding. Hi, <laughs> Val. <laughs> Shake the Vod and it hasn't been an hour yet. We started at like 11.20 ish and it's it's 12.13 right now. So it has to be in the next few moments. Sponge Tail Fanner and I don't know how to feel about how good it is so good. Dude, the Undertale AU community goes crazy. Like, when people think Undertale AU, they think about the, like, uh, all of the sands. Like, Underfell sands, this sands, ink sands. And, like, okay, fair enough, but there's there's so much shit to it, and I've never really get, gotten involved in it at all, to be clear. I've only ever observed it as an outside force. Not even force, just, like, an outside observer. It's, cra it's crazy the stuff people do. It's, it's actually very cool. Undertale was my favorite. It was good. The, I remember Undertale has like good songs. Yeah, under, like Undertale is very a very special thing. Um, and yeah, the internet got weird about it. The internet gets weird about literally everything. And then there was like way too many people that were just like making fun of kids, for just like liking something. It's like, grow up. You're like 30 years old. You don't you 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 don't need to make fun of kids for just like liking Undertale. Come on. Let me make it clear too. There are some things that it's okay to be like, hey, I know you like this thing, but like, it's kind of weird. Like the source is weird. The creator's weird. It's not like, uh, it's not like a black and white situation where there's like one clear answer. Like it's okay to, to tell someone like, hey, I know you really enjoy this thing, but you need to know that like the, the creator of it um, donated a shit ton of money to Republicans. Then it's, it's okay to be like, hey, you know, you should know this about the thing you like. Um, at the same time, like if someone's just like liking something innocent that doesn't harm anyone just by enjoying the content of it, whatever. Um, and I, and what the, the guy. <laughs> There's new dialogue. My point is, be critical of the stuff you like, be understanding when people don't like the stuff you like, especially for very valid reasons. Oh my God. There are plenty of things that I really don't like, whether for good reasons or not. Um, and again, it's not a black and white situation. Like there are certain things like if you like that you can indulge in and it's like morally wrong to indulge in those things. Of course there is. It's, it's a complicated thing that has like a lot of things in it. My point is, uh, also that's one hour. Um, don't make fun of kids for liking innocent things. <laughs> don't make fun of people in general for liking stuff just because it's quote unquote cringe. It's okay to inform people like, hey, this thing sucks. 
Hey, you should know that the creators of this are terrible people. Hey, you should know that this thing has roots in some pretty disgustingly bad stuff. Um, and it's if you're the person being told that, you should be open-minded and listen. But I don't know. What am I to tell you? I'm just a guy on Twitch. Just be critical of stuff. That's all. Very true, Quiet. Very true. Very true. Just don't make fun of people and just don't be an asshole, baby. <laughs> it's awesome and epic to be emotionally honest and not entirely ironic. That's very true, Jummy. I'm very grateful to be like to, to be surrounded with people who uh who understand this. Yeah, that's that's true, Val. Be critical, don't be judgmental. That's a good that's a good point. Again, it's a complicated issue. Um be, just be kind. That's all. Be kind and be open minded. Exactly, Blue. Yeah. <clears throat> We are still doing this baby thing, by the way. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so yeah, Undertale's awesome. Glad I got here just in time for the baby. Yeah, welcome to the stream. Perfect timing. We're at hour one of four. We're 25% of the way through. needs to use the baby's soul to break the barrier. The way I started just like dozing off reading chat. We're in danger. Hold on, let me just time my shoe real quick. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I'm repeating the same jokes now twice. <laughs> Really, really, really rich content heavy stream we got here today. Densely packed within the seven hours. Do you think the baby will learn to walk or run by the time this is over? Well, it's crawling right now. I think, I think it's a, I think, I think we'll have to see. I think that's a great question. Hey, also welcome to the stream gunslinger. You've dug this grave and now you must stop your infant child from jumping into it. Didn't I? 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> that was a real yawn, though. This baby will learn Eldritch Blast. Well, you're gonna raise this baby to join the... The, the fucking... I almost said School of Wizards. That's some Harry Potter shit. The Academy... I don't know. The Hall of... Of Magics. This is gonna be so this is gonna be Socks BX2. This is gonna be the sequel to Socks BX2. The, the sequel to Socks BX1, I should say. This is this baby's gonna usurp me, my heir. Dude, are you excited? The baby's gonna do Super Minecraft Hardcore Hell. We're gonna get dog game. The student slays the mentor. Or maybe the mentor slays the student. Nah, I'm just kidding. Well. Nah. Well, nah. <laughs> now you understand. Figured you for a mage. Little, I mean. Little of both, really. Is there. I don't know. I've always envisioned... I guess I would be like a more of a mage than a wizard, yeah. But I, I mean, I think both is fine. I think either would be fine. Magic, general magic user. I think there is a difference. But they do both have... I think wizards primarily do like... That, like have spell books. Mages primarily focus on stuff with like elementals casting from their hands, which to be fair, that's what I imagine like my Sona, um, you know, specializing in. I've always imagined it as, um, like, you know, the, the Koopa, the magic Koopa magic from Mario, something kind of like that. But instead of like PlayStation symbols, it's like cats and like cat bells and stuff. Mages are a mix of sorcerers and wizards. I see. Traditionally different, but I've lost their meanings over time and often are combined into one. I see. I see. I think I think wizard would be appropriate. Because my guy lives in a tower. Wizards usually live in towers. Also, Catboy Wizard rolls off the tongue pretty well. Also, my favorite part of the game so far? Dude, we should remember we should reminisce again. I put up the VOD. We go back four hours. We check out when we started this. Yeah, let's reminisce in our mind this. Let's think. Think about it. Think about your favorite moment of the stream. Was it the time I almost missed the button? Was it that one? Maybe this one. Oh, I love the broom closet ending. I didn't like the way it ended, though. I love the broom closet ending up until it actually ended. It was too scary. I didn't like the part where the streamer argued with himself for like an hour. Silly smell.
Sock just the button. Will he cheat and use speed hacks to return to this point? Like a certain other challenger? I'll accept a valiant defeat and restart the time. I don't even know what speed hacks would do. Wait, does that like speed up the in-game clock? You can do that? You can actually do that? And make the baby go fast so you have to dump on rapid fire. That's kind of insane, actually. I don't want to install Cheat Engine though, because here's the thing. When I was like 14, I downloaded Cheat Engine and it came bundled with a virus called Sweet I Am, and it scared the actual fuck out of me. Like, I was panic messaging people I had on Steam, like, I got a virus, how do I fix this? What do I do? My whole computer, oh my god, I opened Chrome and it went to a random web page. And it freaked the fuck out of me. Because it was an expensive ass computer. It wasn't, well, it was like 300 bucks, but that was expensive for me, right? When I was like 14. So I was terrified that I just like busted it. And I haven't used Cheat Engine since. I got it so I could, um, so I could like mod the original The Binding of Isaac. You had Sweet I Am? Dude, fuck that fucking thing. It literally, it, it is so impossible to get off your PC. Yeah, sweet pack, you know? Same fucking thing. Same fucking thing. Fuck that thing. Why did my hard drive and it was somehow still there? What the fuck? Yeah, no, it's like literally like so impossible to get rid of. It's annoying as shit. Yeah, Tumblr earned to open it in a second tab and it like redirected to a government site that said you must give $300. That shit is always terrifying. Even as an adult, it kind of scares me a little bit. Granted, I feel very, I, like I have Windows Defender and stuff. Malware bites. So. It latched onto my Chrome account. Uh, that makes sense. Dude, me and my friend Noah, Noah Mez plays. We were, um, <laughs> we used to like download games back in like 2015 and he would screen share them to me on Skype. And we were doing it to record a Let's Play, which I still have, by the way, on my hard drive. Um, Stabby McStabfish, welcome to the stream. Happy to have you. Um... And, and he downloaded from fucking Cool Rom. And it, the Cool Rom installer comes with so much malware. And so we, we're getting ready to play, and we, it opens up Chrome, and it opens up some shit called Binky Land. <laughs> it literally opened up Binky Land. And like so many other random ass viruses. Um, and we were scared shitless. And then we, we uninstalled it. We got it fixed. And it had to be two months later. And we would joke about Binky Land all the time. And he opens up Chrome instead of Firefox. And the homepage for Chrome was BinkyLand.com like, or whatever. Binky like B-I-N-K-I land. Do not run like that. Like what? What are you talking about? Did you know I counted every single square in here? It was like, it's 1090. 1090 squares in here. You're afraid? Be not afraid. No, but, no backseating is true, but also I don't think there's really anything to backseat here. <laughs> to be totally honest with you. <laughs> true though, true. I appreciate being considerate. I've been doing trick shots and scaring you guys the whole time. Very true. 
Like I would wait here and I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna tie my shoe and then I'd go up to it. Dude, we almost actually lost it. <laughs> no, but I'd literally like, I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna tie my shoe. And I'd be like counting all the tires. I'd be, I'd tiles. I'd be running around. And then we just wait. But as long as you stay diligent, we're what, an hour and a half in at this point? Stay diligent. It has to be like hour five minutes. People, people backseat me on my own damn game that I made with my like loving crafted hands. People can, but you can backseat anything. That's true. And like, I always say, like I get the enthusiasm, <laughs> but, and I'm sorry for not playing like the, the, the character card you wanted me to. Making you very nervous. Why are you nervous? What are you nervous of that? I'm going to miss the button because I'm standing over here in the dark and not in the light because I'm standing right here. And in the time, you know, I'm talking in the, the you're noticing that the baby's getting closer and closer to the fire every time I do this, but it's okay. I got the wheel. The baby is not going to burn in the fire. I promise you. Why did you play mega fart B? You'd be a great parent, I'm sure. <laughs> no, because with the with the with being a parent, I'd just be like, okay, I'm gonna take care of this baby, and that's gonna be my determination, and then I would do it. We stayed in this we stayed in a room with absolutely no dialogue for over like an hour. I see the chrome dinosaur game. Dude, the diaper changing trick shot? Hold on. <laughs> but maybe the worst, maybe the worst thing I've ever said on, on, on stream out of context. We gotta stop. We gotta stop doing that. Please never say those words in that order again. Yeah, does that mean you're still open to hearing them in a different order? Achievement in the apparently the Stanley Parable Ultra X you can only get if you don't own the game for 10 years. I did see that. Dude, I, I have my five year achievement like waiting for me right now. Did you miss much? Yeah, you did. We're on run number two now. Unachievable. I, I've I've heard of that. Yeah. Free chance of unlocking just to bother completionist. Dude, I hope you guys are ready for the shit we're doing and find everything. We have we have cracked the code because there's a there's a um I don't even know. I feel like saying that well no, I think that'll be on the main menu. I'll say this. There's a whole bunch of shit that's gonna be normal, regular game collectibles that'll count towards 100 percent Um, and then there's gonna be the stupidest shit you've ever seen. <laughs> I 
but uh, I guess that's all I'm gonna say. Cause I don't know what they're. I don't know what. I I think I think we're gonna have. There's a specific category that we're doing that I think is gonna be visible in the menu. But just know that it's going to have stupid shit in it. <laughs> and we've been talking about it for a bit. <gasps> the noise has kind of stopped bothering me. That is a lot of things to listen to. While you did this, don't tempt fate. Like, I wish I could, like, even just, like, play, like, super auto pets while we did this. We have, we are, we have to sit here and we just have to do this. Look, I've done eight hour sessions of Bee Swarm Simulator on Roblox. Granted, I did that while working a an at home like phone support job. So really what I was doing is just passing the time. But you know, same thing. I'm now I'm itching to play Bee Swarm Simulator. I need to stream that game at some point. Next time we're like doing something where we're just waiting for a stupidly long time. I need to crack open Bee Swarm. Do it right now. I can't do it right now. I would literally love to. Like, I guess I could get an auto clicker. I could get something to like tap my space bar for me. Get an auto clicker, that's what most people do. Isn't Beast Swimson the game with the music from the Get Stick Bug meme? It is. Dude, Beast Swimson, on it makes good music. Beast Swimson has very good music. They also just recently made like toys and shit. Um, and I, I have a shirt uh, that Damien bought me that actually doesn't fit, it doesn't fit me too well. Um, it's a, it's a very nice shirt. Beast Swimson has cool merchandise. It was my, it was my wallpaper for a really long time. That's like the one, the one clicker game I really spent like a shit ton, like an absolutely fucking long amount of time playing. And I still play it. I don't play it like every day. I play it like maybe every couple weeks I'll log in for a bit. Hi Star, I am still, <laughs> Hi Star, <laughs> yeah, I am still streaming. Do you want to guess how long we've been doing this for? I 
was getting Freddy's when I started and you started and I'm still going. <laughs> yeah. We are an hour and a half in. Just about. Just about. I think we're an hour and 20 something minutes in. I literally, I started this again and I was like, I'm going to do this for three minutes. <laughs> I'll do this for three minutes. I'm going to scare you guys and it's going to be hilarious. I mean, like I scared you, didn't I? And then we were going to play the rest of the game. Um, and then this, the song ended and it played into a new song and I was like, oh, I guess I'll go for like a, another minute or two. And then I kind of just kept going. And then my hour 30, I was like, well, now sunk cost fallacy has gotten me. And we are now almost an hour and a half in. Not even halfway. How goes the button pushing? Well, it's going. Three hundred sixties between button presses? No, because that's gonna make me. Well, I'll do this. I, I was doing this earlier. I would do this. I'd like wait here, and I'd be like, oh, oh, the baby's gonna close, and then I'd click it. Tell us a story. Once upon a time, there was a person named Socks. And they went live one day to play the Stanley Parable. In that time, they went to a broom closet. They debated uh, going into a door. They went into the same door. It had to be 10 times in a row. Then they found a room with a button that would let them skip forward in time and a narrator who never seemed to stop talking. And so they, they after a little bit of, of consideration, they pressed it and then they pressed it again and they pressed it again. And then the narrator said, I'm going to go find us a door to get out of this room that you're locked in. And so they left. And so Sock sat here thinking, hmm. Well, surely, you know, the game is wanting me to press the button, but surely if I wait long enough, just sitting here doing nothing, they'll come back. So we sat there, we counted bricks. We reminisced on good old memories, like the broom closet. We rewatched our stream from earlier in the day where we went to the broom closet. We rewatched uh, when we'd gotten to the room with the skip button and we rewatched rewatching that and then we rewatched us rewatching and then we argued with ourselves for a bit. And we yelled at ourselves, and then we skipped it. Then we got here. It was a forewarning. It really was. This is about to skip button. Yeah.
have I played the original game seven years ago to be clear I did not play the baby game then not that I remember I don't think I did we've officially passed an hour 30 the day before being due oh god star yeah i hope you get that done uh we i thought about me i thought about doing a media share i thought about doing a media share maybe maybe Yeah, good luck with that star. You will pass awesomely. Baby, baby. I don't know. I'm kind of enjoying it just being the button. Not that I don't like media share. Spilled water all over myself. I literally got so fucking scared that I spilled water everywhere. Are you kidding? Because it was so close, and I jumped, and I spilled water all over my fucking. It didn't get on anything. I spilled water everywhere. Prove the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game just to ease the pain? Let's see. What do we have here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, this seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. What the fuck? Uh -huh. what? Fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? What is our motivation? This is Firewatch! But it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying what? innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower. Perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What, what a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. That was a Minecraft toy sound. What the fuck? This wait. This is literally Firewatch. Is it not? What the fuck? What? What the fuck? 
the old version of Minecraft? This is really comfy. It the is. Hell? It's an open world game. Good Just God, quickly like. block it off. Uh, oh. oh. Thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. You really wandered off into that, that thing, that big open just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just go in any... Oh, 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 thank heavens we avoided it. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay. It should I have been out, get us out of here. Let's find another game. Preferably something with walls. Something Wait, with what? Nice, big, insurmountable walls. <laughs> okay. I think this will be just the thing. Oh! Wonderful. See, this is exactly what I had in mind. Just a nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Rocket League? What the fuck is why is this here? Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's see. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yeah, I think <laughs> surely like we must. Stanley okay, lead. Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. Oh... Wait, we're going fast as fuck! Are you kidding me? What the fucking shit? This is insane! <laughs> I did not expect this at all! I did not expect this at all! Uh, Are you doing it? Are you winning? Is this fun? Hello? Is it better than my miserable little story that I worked so hard on? Stanley, I have a thought. And I realize I'm not a sportsologist, but if one ball generates a certain a amount ball. of raw adrenal pleasure, then surely multiple balls makes for an even more balls? sports experience. I'm going to try it out. Here comes another ball. <gasps> yes! Balls! Yes. Oh goodness, that really does feel amazing, I doesn't it? Balls! Stanley, I'm like a child in a confectionery shop. I simply have to have more. I'm insatiable. More balls! Yes! Oh, we should! Oh, do you got- do you love this? This is awesome! Are you enjoying this, Stanley? What the <laughs> fuck? Is this a real video what? game? What the hell happened to Well, I sure hope you're having a good time, because guess what? It's over. That's right. Your little fun comes to an end. This what is was my that? game, and that what I say goes. You get to have fun when I let you, Stanley. Besides, you need someone like me to set boundaries for you. Without rules or boundaries, video oh. games are nothing. Yes, that's what I am. I am structure. I'm your sense of purpose. No, I want to play balls. You didn't want to play my game. Now, I don't want to play with you either. So, goodbye, Stanley. I'm leaving. See how you like it when I'm not around to set the rules. Somehow, I don't think you'll enjoy it as much. But who knows? You're an inventive kid. You'll come up with something. After all, you're the one who knows best. Take care, Stanley. Okay. Well, I mean, I... I guess I'll... I'll just jump right in. Hold on. What are you doing? <laughs> oh. Stanley, is... don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley. What the hell? What is this? Oh. This is PT. Stop. What the fuck? No, 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 no. This is scary as shit. Stop. Huh? It's the original. T 
This is scary. This is scary as fuck. What the hell? The original Stanley Parable map when it was a HL2 mod. Dude, it's just like the original Super Bomb Survival Lobby is under the Super Bomb Survival map. No way. This is scary as fuck. <laughs> huh? What the hell is that? Weird. Oh. Huh? Um. Okay. Oh, there's a light over here now. Oh! I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end. To make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. What the fuck? I did not expect any of that. Well, oh no, welcome Stanley to heaven. It's everything I could have ever wanted in my whole life. This is all I've ever wanted. It's buttons. It's just buttons. They're everywhere. I can press buttons forever. This is all I've ever wanted. Now if only we had some token. Me eating tokens. No. Keep pressing, keep pressing.
have not actually said a word in over like a minute and a half. This is everything. I thought it was balls when I first got here. I, heard some, I, I, I just heard sounds like a baby. This is literally like a baby stem video, but like so much more. Is this it? No ending, no narration, nothing, nothing beyond this. It's just buttons. That's all this is. Well, if that's all there is, then I guess, I guess that's the end of stream. We've been going for nearly eight hours. I'm tired and hungry. <laughs> what time to get baby back? Oh God. No, 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 no. Have you tried push? I mean, I have. There isn't anything else here, right? This is it. Um, yeah. That was. That was a, that was a great stream. We we might we might do. We might do. Maybe one day we'll do baby. Um. We we may or may not, you know. Come back to this game. I think I think I think I would like to play more of this game. Um the baby media share idea. I do I do actually like that quite a lot. That might be something I do in the next few weeks. We'll see. I, I do <laughs> that's actually really funny. Um yeah, a fully dedicated stream to it. And we just do it. Um Yeah. Well, that's it, everybody. Um, I want to thank everybody for all the support tonight, for watching. This was a very fun... I'm very, very, very glad to have done this stream. This was a lot of fun. A, a stream that will go down in, in Socks BX history, surely. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the extremely generous support. I didn't even fucking realize we made $567 tonight. Jesus Christ, off of me standing in a room doing absolutely fucking lootly nothing but like talking to myself and arguing with myself for two hours. That was literally like... That was, that was everything. That was like such a... That, that was the streamer... That was a test of myself and my own resolve. <laughs> like the, everything was, this this has been an awesome stream um yeah this was every game ever even persona 3 um i'm gonna take a brief moment to promote some stuff i'm doing uh specifically tomorrow uh because tomorrow i'm doing the the god game gauntlet stream uh i'm gonna be live tomorrow probably starting we'll say i think it should be 6 p.m east um that is gonna be tomorrow i'm gonna be doing 1v1s all day i'm gonna get some good rest before that and get a lot of food um 
So that'll be tomorrow. I, I am very, very, very much looking forward to that. Um, I'm going to have a bunch of my friends fighting me at the table. Uh, and, and it'll be a blast. Um, Sun, I have to see, I think Sunday, Sunday is Rox's birthday. So I don't think I'm going to be live then. Um, I am doing God Game with Osk, Star, Sophie, and Pyro next week at some point. And I'm probably going to do God Game as well. I think we're, I think we're rescheduling the 2v2 stream. We got to see when, um, but look forward to more stuff next week. We should be doing hardcore hell next week. Finally, after like two months. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's send you guys to summon the raid. Thank you so much for all the, oh wait, before we do that, I want to, I want to check fan art because we did actually get a ton of fan art today. Um, from Nova in the discord server. <laughs> this was the, uh, the, the Ouroboros Gondol. Holy shit, this is awesome. Put it right there. Um, that was from earlier when we were looping the stream in on itself. This is incredible. Um, thank you, Nova, for the art. We also have, uh, from Quiet in the Discord server. <laughs> this is Socks. As a socks cat has a time argument. <laughs> That's literally what that was, huh? It's just our ar car cat arguing with himself in his own chat logs. <laughs> um, thank you so much. Uh, quiet. Very good fan art. We also have from Eel Bakery in the server. Uh, this was the whole. <laughs> The in the infinite hall. Holy, we got so much fan art today. This is awesome. Thank you, Eel Bakery. Obsessed with so socks. Hat. I'm gonna be getting um. I'm gonna be slightly overhauling my BRB screen. It's gonna have the same art and everything. Um, but I'm gonna have like a a, a big cool like fan art thingy that'll have uh like a slideshow with like credits and everything above it. Um, cause it's kind of just been like an auto slideshow of the fan art downloads folder for a bit. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to be overhauling it a bit and I'm going to be like reaching out to some folks saying like, Hey, can I, can I put this on the, the thingy? Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. Thank you for all the support, all the fan art, all the, the, the monetary support. It is seriously greatly appreciated. And, and just for watching and VOD viewers, if you somehow made it past the, uh, the time loop <laughs> where I said to go, go backwards 60 seconds. Um, I'm happy to have you here. I'm, I'm glad you made it out alive and thank you guys. Thank you for all the support, all the lurkers, everything. Um, who is live right now? Let me take a look. Um, let me see. Let me see. Alfred's live. Alfred's doing a sub stream though. Um, and I don't, I don't know if, I don't know what the, like, I guess courtesy is with raiding during a sub stream. Socks BX is like, oh, we could raid Socks BX. Cause also has it shrimps. Twitch gives you a five minute preview of sub streams. If that's the case, then I don't mind. I don't mind reading uh, Alfred. I'll go live and then immediately <laughs> I'll go no, That's okay. That's okay. Uh, you know, we can, we can go right Alfred. If you're subbed, then you can tune into the stream. If you're not subbed then you maybe want to tune in, then great opportunity to do that. Go support Alfred. Um, before we raid, Alfred's stream is 18 plus and my audience is general audiences, uh, 16 plus. So if you're not 18 or older, uh, now's time for you to dip out. Um, but we're gonna go raid Alfred. Do we have a? I I, I think raid Frey should just be should just be buttons. Uh, it should just be this. This is dude who was dissing you stream earlier. The name is Soxfix. I that's true. That's true. But I think Soxfix is wrapping up right now. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for everything. Join my Discord and everything. We're gonna go raid Alfred again. Stream is is 18 plus. Uh, so if you're not 18 or older, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And thank you for everything tonight, guys. Goodbye, everybody.